fast. You have one minute. Because on a Friday night, me have a tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show, we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Hey, good night to all the one-minute men and women tonight. I mean, the people who took just a minute a while ago to get off their phones because Real Talk is on Styles FM Radio. No other minute is what I'm referring to. Please understand that clearly. So good night all and welcome to the show. Tonight we discuss with you all the things that are real and nothing ideal. And you're tuned in to the sound of Lady Cleo, that's moi the sane one and later on you'll hear from my co-host daddy rude of course the opposite to sane and you know what that is he is the one that will be hosting co-hosting core pig hosting i don't know the show with me tonight our engineer is cassidy the silent assassin and of course i try my best throughout sweet november to be in very good spirits so i hope you and you and you out there tonight wherever you are yeah, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are across the world, that you will ensure that as we go through the show, if you're not in such great spirit, then you will try your best to be in good spirit. Because guess what? We have a lot to be thankful for. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So welcome to Real Talk tonight. I just want to say to all the people right here in Jamaica, yeah, a very special, special, cool Climatic change, yes, in the breeze and all these things. We feel that Christmas coming on. Mm-hmm. Yes, good night to you right here in Jamaica, all across the length and breadth of Jamaica, and all the people who are tuned in right now via the World Wide Web. We want to say big ups to you. All our friends in St. Mary, you're large and in charge every time. Our very own Portlanders right here, right here. Those in Bonebrook, wherever you are in Portland, we want to say a special good night to you. And to our dear friends over there in St. Thomas as well. Big ups to all the family, all the friends over there in St. Thomas, and to our friends in St. Anne, OMG, the, the Garden Parish of St. Anne. We big you up right now. And to all those who watch otherwise, you know, we love you guys so very much. Our friends overseas who tune in from night after night after night to listen to not just Real Talk, but to Styles FM Radio. Yeah, you know, this is where you feel like you're actually at home, right? And for those who may not be able to come for the Christmas... Hey, what better way to feel the Christmas vibration than on Styles FM Radio, yeah? All right, so we're going to give you those numbers now, and we're going to ask you. We do, I'm, I'm going to dare you to call in tonight, as usual, and to text in, because the, the show promises to be an exciting one. You don't know, we do the man and woman story tonight. Whew, people, don't worry. Those who were craving for more of last week's show, we got a little thing cooked up for you later on, probably in the, the next month. Yes, we will have some of that coming back for you, all right? But we take our break because we're kind of afraid still. We're not lying. So we take a little pause from that one, and we will get back to at a later date. But tonight, we have some other interesting stuff lined up for you. But before we delve into that one, let me give you those local and overseas numbers right about now. If you want to text us tonight um, or give us a WhatsApp message or SMS, or regular call, local call. The number is 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And if you're calling from overseas, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And to all our friends on social media, on the social media sites tonight, those people... Yeah, those very, very special 
well, when it's so special, we say special, yeah. <laughs> Those special people tonight on YouTube. You can check out Styles FM Radio. And remember, the show is posted afterwards on YouTube for your listening and watching, viewing pleasure. All right? On Instagram, you follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, it's Styles FM 961. And check out Facebook. The live feed is on Facebook right now. Go to Styles FM 96.1. Check out the fan page. And those numbers on the go. We go to Rude. And he will shoot you those. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. The Styles FM on the go numbers are... If from the United States, 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. From the United Kingdom, it's 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. And from Canada, the number is 647-957-957. 9637. That's 647 957 9637. Oh, you sound like UL. I like UL. <laughs> 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 of course, to all, <laughs> he shakes his head, people. Uh, to our friends also in Brooklyn and the Bronx, of course, 91.2 FM in Brooklyn and 91.3 FM in Brooklyn and 102.9 FM in the Bronx. Big ups, big ups to you all, all right? Um, I must say, right about now, some, some, some congratulations. Um, congratulations are in order for Jody. Jody Yolanda Alexis Stewart. That's my oney. I call her my oney. Mm -hmm. You know, like a one picnic? Yeah. You no longer have a oney. You can't talk about, I can't talk to you anymore, yeah? You no longer have oney. Yeah, you have to it. <laughs> so congrats to Jody. She just graduated from the Caribbean Maritime University and she obtained a Bachelor's of Science. What? Yeah, in Customs and Immigration. What? So kudos to Jojo. Yeah. Congratulations, Jody. Yeah, so. I've always heard about you. I've never met you. But I recently finally got a photograph of, of you. <laughs> and I must say. Uh, if you ever say it, <laughs> you're not going to say anything <laughs> nice. Because people, this is where Daddy Rude chipped in. Go ahead, Daddy Rude, and tell them. Mm -hmm. You're mm. just as lovely and possibly even more as your mother. <laughs> you had to put that word in. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he had to just burst me right there. I was like, did he just say just as beautiful? <laughs> But then, of course, I should have known better than to just stop right there because you going to go further. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. No. She's a younger version, so yes, she, she just looks younger. Not I, I, I actually necessarily got, I got the photograph um, not necessarily. from you first, and I, and I thought it, it was an error. It was, like, I, was me? No, I thought I got the photo. Uh, like, I'm not the person you should have sent oh, it to. Oh, sent it to, okay. That's why you remember I responded with two questions. Yes, right? I realized. Right, so I was like, huh? But I'll tell you off air <laughs> what, what, <laughs> when you send me those photos. I know photos. my co-host so well, people, right? so I can just imagine um, <laughs> what he was saying to himself. And OMG. Then, and then when I woke up, I saw both persons together and then I, the resemblance. Was okay. Yes. I said, uh -huh. Okay, this is Jody. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, and <laughs> a lovely bunch. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. A lovely bunch. But my pockets still, but you don't know. Yeah. Well, Anyways. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's, it's I, I mission think, well accomplished. I think she should feel actually um, proud to have you as her mother because I know many times of you know the challenges. Oh yes. And yes. you had you had, you you had you have never failed. Never failed. You have never failed. So. You know, to big God up, be the glory. Big up yourself, mommy. Yeah. And big up yourself, upgrade of your mommy. I tell you. <laughs> 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 All right. And um, let me just say shout outs to Diane, a very supportive girlfriend of mine, Diane, um, over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Good friend Vivian as well, who's always very, very supportive and motiva motivating. And um, to Shadeen as well, up there in um, Fairy Hill. 
big ups, big ups, big ups tonight. And of course, to the little neighbors on the street in Anchovy who are always giving the shout out. Chichi, you know you're large and in charge. I love you, girl. Big ups to you every time, all right? Um, a little bit of a, on a different note, I learned this evening, just this evening coming here on my way here, um, that an accident occurred in um, Hector's River. Yeah, that side, um, Long Road. I Long think Road. Was Long Road here. I really, really hope and pray that the, I don't know if it's students or adults, but the passengers in that bus, um, I really pray and hope that we don't have any casualties. True. Um, I pray that the kids, uh, boy, I've, I learned, I don't know how true the story is, but I learned that there were some serious injuries. And I'm just really praying that none of those injuries are life-threatening life -threatening. at this point. Right. So let's keep the prayers going for the victims or the persons who have been um, apart or been, been injured who have been injured in that accident. And I pray that the drivers, please, for heaven's sake, respect the fact that you have lives that you are transporting to and from every day. It's not about the money. No amount of money can replace the fact that you, if it is that you recklessly drive and put people's lives in danger. True. You have a mammoth task of keeping people's lives safe to and from their destination and that's the least the least you can do is honor that and respect that so we pray for the victim for the persons right now and the families who are you know in pain and shock that they send the kids out and the, the loved ones went out and no are ending up you know i've ended up in the hospital it's, True. A, it's a sad feeling i'm not telling you a lie when i heard my head start to swell see because i'm just thinking of the kids who might be you know in there but i know them are not and I know, I know quite a few who are, who are going to Happy Grove. So it's so sad. Really, really sad. So we pray for them. Real talk. All right. Um, um, well, and e up. even on the whole uh, idea or the whole thing regarding motor vehicle accidents, you know, it, it seems as if we're not learning mm, can I tell from, you? From, from what's happening. From previous um, right? incidents. And, and on a daily basis. You can anticipate some form of motor vehicle accident occurring somewhere in the island that is just straight recklessness mm -hmm. and you know misjudgment, poor judgment on the part of um, the drivers. Yeah. And I can't believe that nowadays you still have persons who think that when they might drive and have on a seatbelt, they feel like they might choke. I mean, I understand that, but if we jump on a plane and go overseas, one of the first things we do mm -hmm. is put on with seatbelt. We're not choking. Choke or not, yes. You know? So, I don't know, but you know, we have to do better upon the road, people. And as you say, lives are in our hands. Even our own life is in our hands. And it's not fair if you're careless with yours, you must risk the life of other persons. Yes. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of parents out nice. there that have done a lot of investment in their kids. Mm -hmm. And kids, Likewise, with any passenger on in a motor vehicle, you need to hold yourself responsible, responsible for, for the, yep. the driving attitude yep. of the driver in the bus. Mm -hmm. Right? And the, oh, the other thing now, the driver, them, where I play the dirty music. Oh, Jesus, man. With the school as them no, in there. The, man, them, the man. Where I play the raw version of some song with the kids, them in there. And on our condone with some behavior from the kids, them. Mm. I'm telling us something straight up. On not ready. No, not all. All right? On a really and truly, yeah, truly not bad. ready. Some big, very, very, very boys childish. Big man body. Very irresponsible, very disrespectful to the yeah, work where parents are put on, are put on to them child, or them are bring them up and on have the CD, them. Yeah, man. I play man. the nasty music. The derogatory music, the slap music, all loud of them sort of music, ever. as lewd, you know, and as loud yeah, as can be. Pathetic. I don't know how to get out of it, but believe you me, the I need man, the authorities to look into that and do what they need for those straight up Real on the outer order. Nine thirty, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go for a break. The time is brought us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Nasal Native Audio Stage and Lighting. So forward.
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Ho, ho, ho! Styles FM, Jingle Bells, this must advertising package. Get more for less when you advertise your business with Styles FM this Christmas. Get 10 to 30% more on your ad packages starting October. Contact our sales team for details at 518-2399-374-8668 or 320-7670. Conditions apply. Ho, 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 ho. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. D.I.B. 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 rocks. D.I.B. has your paints in stock throughout this Christmas and all the year through. D.I.B. has the paints for you. Yes, now until December 31st, visit any D.I.B. location and save up to 30% off Berger Magic Coat. Get a gallon of Berger for as low as $1,330. Get up to 20% off your favorite brand. To be age, the paint sale will be great. For the widest variety of paint tools, find these savings at DIB Buff Bay, DIB St. Margaret's Bay, DIB William Street, and DIB Home Center West Farm. This Christmas, don't miss out on this massive paint sale at DIB Hardware and DIB Home Center. That's cause DIB Rock. DIB, we do it best. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk and you're tuned to the sound of Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. We go with you from now on till 12 tonight. Yep. Hey. Mm -hmm. Last week. Mm -hmm. Lord have <laughs> ah. mercy. Believe you me. <laughs> Last week affected you, right? Last week affected you and affected you. Yeah, man. Real it, talk. It, it, it affect me. It affect me. It affect me. Me not tell you no, no lie, people. <laughs> I want to the worst had show. had a hold on him. Me no want the vice tone there in ya. <laughs> me no want the vice tone there in ya. <laughs> I want the worst show. Okay. We do. One of the worst, but it's ironic. Right. It's um, paradoxical. The biggest part. Yeah, yeah, the, hey, yeah it's, listen. it's the biggest, All one of the biggest. Me can't tell you, no, so even when the show done, down to Captain Baker called me from England, England to tell, yeah. me, to tell me the story. Oh my goodness. And I said, Baker, me reached down a yard, the show done. Okay. <laughs> Baker <laughs> insists. <laughs> me tell me about the business, we're going, run, we're, we're going around a jungle gully. Hold on. May. Me say, listen to me, people. <laughs> Nikki. Nikki, we oh. not in it with you, Nikki. <laughs> Can I Nikki, tell you? Nothing about no part this and no part that. My step part dad. myself and the dopey sitting. My step Because dad. I can't tell you, give me a second, I can't tell you. I see all my own and pitting my band while they are staring at space and smile. I say, Pitney, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> not do it, Pitney, not do it. How will you say? 
right? A man's have to say, look here and stop farm foolishness around here. Because then say, pitney, pitney, pitney can't say nothing until them a certain age. I say, I'm not busy. I see my steer and smile. I mean, I want nothing. Go give him the green bush, boy, yeah. I join with. I mean, I want to cuss on sitting at you. I say, listen, no cuss, nothing in here. <laughs> right? So, me no dip on one of the pan. <laughs> me no dip on it. Oh boy. Right? Me I go down a yard, I'm afraid to go beard <laughs> Friday night, Saturday morning. Who <laughs> care? Right? Because, listen oh, to me. Oh man. Me old fit. Alright, the only thing me this say me though, I me never do it. Mm-hmm. I sleep in the light. Mm-hmm. Me never sleep in the light. Because, me just know, say boy, it would have been a problem because I was so tired and I really didn't need to sleep. But, me pray. Say me no dream nothing. Oh, nothing no hold me down. Nothing no do me nothing. Christ. No rolling calf. Nothing can cross the road. No spin couple times going on the yard. No, me no. never remember nothing like that. Gracie missed it, but she's going to have to go on YouTube and find that a show and watch it. Seriously, Gracie. Grace missed the show last week? Oh my goodness. You missed something, Grace. girl. No, man. Grace missed the show last week. Shh. I, did she? No, man. And Grace no participated in the show last week. Unless I want doppy. <laughs> But we sure say one grace, Missy Jean, and talk Achoo. about and and, and, and oh, talk God, about um some sitting pa, 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 one road where she used to live on. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, grace, oh, yes, I, grace. Re- I, re- I did at the beginning. Oh, oh. I did. Be- oh, Lord. Yeah. Hey, Grace, you're frightened. Right. Right. Yeah, we're not going on. No bother with it. <laughs> Can I tell you Daddy Ruth? Right. No, me can't tell you. <laughs> say <laughs> when me start tell them. Don't I am um, Anova about the show. <laughs> Our whole new sitting Come because I never know say some of them large man they mix up in a sound sitting. Mm-hmm. Then start them say look yeah. on where the man they wear. Every one of them in a shirt some purple shirt. So you know me I, me I, me I, me I go through the town and me I look for people in a shirt some purple shirt. <laughs> Mark it in a shirt for you, but when I see the church purple shirt, I me can't tell you no. What me say the hobby man have them do down there. Oh, <laughs> Lisa's still in shock from last week's show. Lord of mercy, I can't tell you no. Oh, man. Me not in it with you no. again. All what talk about part two, part three, you no can go congregate <laughs> under one arm and tree when they say up come six, six o'clock at night. I want to depend on your own and talk on a story. Call up the kids, them, call up the family, call up all in the one call, but don't call me. <laughs> if I call up early out in, on the 453, hello, caller. This is not caller, this is Bright Eye. All right, Bright Eye caller. Good night, sir. <laughs> what going, brother? Yeah, Daddy Ro. You. What have you done? I'm there, no rude boy. Sin, sin. Um, yeah, so we hear you say earlier about the taxi and the derogatory music and thing. Mm-hmm. With the, the school youth them and thing. Yes. yes. All right, this is Bright Eye, Bright Eye youth, where... When they come on to kids, a zero tolerance, me deal with them, see? Yes. Respect. But them know that um, there is a child and, and respect and manageable and all them things there. Mm-hmm. So it's like, me that you know, when me, I run my taxi now and it's like, um, me pick up some of them. The other day, me, me, me have CD for all uh, different type of people, me pick up. Mm-hmm. So me know, me have play some, look, uh, some, some gangster tune. And then I'm going to let all them gangster people there, so I'm going to take up some school kids now and me. <laughs> take out the CD there and put in. Oh, nice, bury some and all that. Something there. Mm-hmm. So they me pick up uh, five Miramon students, you know, five of them. So when I play a nice CD there, you know, them say, Driver, what does you have play, Driver? So I say, no, no, some nice tune. The driver, them, them bust them bag, you know, the school bag long time, you know. What, what? Them bust them school bag, you know, and then take out that CD. I said, driver, driver, you're the bad man, man. who is this man? Oh. Are you see the, you see the CD with the engine? Mm-hmm. When we put it in, at the first word, if our man knows that they're sitting in the rear, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you know, the, you have to take out, you have to take out that. I you know, so I said, no, man, I just have to, no, I can't play this. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm playing. You know, so come out of the car. Eh? You're soft. Eh? Yeah? You're soft, taxi driver. Yeah, man, them come out, man. 
So, let me ask you something. Mary Mount, a, a coil are all girls? Yeah? Mary Mount is an all girls school? A, a what? Is an all girls school? Mary Mount? A, all what? All girls. Pure girls, got it? Yeah, girl, yeah, man. Yeah, pure girl, girl. Yeah, girl yeah man. School. So, another girl, yeah, them have them tuned there? Yeah, man. So, mm-hmm. it's like when me and you say, driver, yeah, they are say, boy. Them this and them that and what have you done. It's like more while the kids them, you know what I mean? And you know what, you see a man now, a driver, you see a driver when they go in? The driver when they go in, you know, say, come baby, you look up, they have you one on one. They have the two on one, man. You understand? And then jump in. Mm-hmm. So, more while, you know, it's like, some drivers out there, you don't know, say, all right, when I'm going to drive here, like, a, a bus, you know, say, I'm going to grab anything and play anything to get the money. Mm-hmm. And get the money. And so, 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 let me ask you a question, right? I? Yeah. And, and all of the drivers them out there. When I tell me, say, if everybody decides, say. Exactly. Everybody decides, say, they not play a certain tune. The people them not going to take no taxi. What, what am I going to walk to school? I don't go to school, school. not at all. Mm-hmm. It's a stance yeah, for people have to take, you know. Exactly. Right? And it's either you're for the right or you're for the wrong. And as far as me see it right now, any driver out there where I play a certain tune with people pitting it, because I'm sure it's not every pitting in there want to hear that. But because of the status quo and what I go on, yeah. and they want to go to school, them, them, yeah. they, 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 they allow themselves, or, or we say when as adults, I expose them to certain things and I can't do with it. So yeah. if the driver them now nah, go do the thing positively and make the kids them the kids them a lead and the tailor walk the dog then. The kids them are the one where I lead this thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you tell me say if one driver, only one driver I go play bad music, all pity I go stay at the ta- I go stay at the taxi stand and wait for the driver there for run film trip and come back they and do. carry everybody. Right? They do. Sir. Listen. Yeah. We have to regulate the thing. Yeah, man, for real, man. It's because... a need for regulate. The people, the, the authorities, they were easy to lie to them, right? The, what, what the name, the, the whatever association, what the name again? Remember what the name? The taxi association? No, not, not ta- even the taxi association president. If yeah. he not regulate the thing, right? C- citizens for all him or her responsible for what yeah. go on. Real talk. Right? The, 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 head of the, the head of the stream. Right, if him not regulate what I go on this, so him not have no right in my opinion. If you go beg and say, boy, you want to increase a fear. We, yeah, can't, yeah. we, we can't have what they say, the cake and eat it. Yep. Man, for wear a uniform, man, for, man, for put on a checkered stripe for the side of them vehicle. Mm-hmm. Enough man don't want to wear a uniform and identify themselves. But they want to raise a fear. Yeah. Them say, why road bad? But here, we don't want to play no more dirty music to the pit of them. Real time. We don't want that. Yo, know, the other day, you know, me pick up some, some kids, you know, man, boy and girl, you know what I mean, when I care back on. You see, me care of, I swear, one kind of way, you know, see? And, and the girl around there, you know, he you know, take off her unit, like, change that change while me are driving, and me care back, you know. What? She, she changed her, her blows first, you know. Rocks you understand? And me, I tell her, when me pray around there, you know, she's like, it's tattoo to where the girl having nine chest, you know, on your daddy road. Mm-mm. It's tattoo to where the girl having nine chest, as a youth, as a school, you know, man, I say. Normally, when time a kid left school and to get certain jobs and certain things from them body, where they will get turned down, you know? Yeah, you mean? sure. Yeah. But I say, it's like them appearance, yeah. Yeah. So, they, 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 they know. Uh, so, them know, I don't know, say... I, I tell you something, you know, say, one, 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 one lady right now who is a teacher tell me, say, she get her tattoo from she got um, high school and her mother never know nothing about it, though. Yeah? Yeah, she's a teacher right now and say her mother never know nothing about it. So enough of the things, them. don't even know what's going right? on. Parents don't, don't know what's going on, right? But me, I say, I the same thing now with, 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 with the... With the tail of them, we, we used to take in the youth them pants, mm-hmm. right? Take in the youth them pants. No, say, no, say it is against the rules, right? Take in the youth them oh. pants. The barber them, we are shaved the youth them yeah, bro. I know, say boy, that not for go on a school, right? Are yeah, the big man them and adult them, you know? 
we are make certain things, we are, we are help to promote certain yep. things. Yep. If the youth them now, have a little barber, an, an ex school youth who's, who's, who's a barber and him go do what he do, make them face the consequence, but as adults we need to take a stance and say, yo, listen no, man, we are not going to support what we are not doing. No. Exactly. I want to want, yeah. no. and we run this, when we don't reach for age, we don't can, exactly we, we, so. we can do what we don't want to do. Yeah. But to go, right now, I be a Napoleon, a school boy that should not wear. And Tony C. You don't know them here style. Oh eh? dear. Yeah, man. You don't know, know what Napoleon and you know Napoleon here style and Tony C road boy. Yeah, man, I'm more can learn something, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, man, they know for wearing a mock man. I, 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 I know I tap. Napoleon and Tony C alone and ball it for wear, man, and go to school, man. That, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I pull another one of the ugliest years I live, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right, I respect. Big up yeah, yourself. Yeah, man, I think I'm fed up. I just put my out of trinity to see you, you see me? I'm done in the upper to man, you hear me? All, All right, right, madly, sir. madly, madly. Them here, them here. Big up on yourself, people. Yeah, man, I'm big up yourself, clear, you hear? Every time, big ups to you, I too. I'm talking about the belly tonight, yeah, you see? All right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy, and you know what, what's sad, and as you said, the adults are the ones who are causing this thing to be so promoted, the children's behavior. Um, people are saying the children love this and the children love that. Right, so what Bradley said, read what Bradley said. But if the child loves those music, what to do? And it's not like early time when kids were restricted to things, dif to things different age and time. Well, Bradley, and, and, and I really said what to do, you know, we already know the answer, you know. Exactly. We already know the answer, right? And now them run this. You just set the standard. Right? Them not run nothing about you. Them still, them, them still have to get um, parents' money and parents' consent for do certain and certain things. Not for them, it's only when they come outside and the peer pressure reach them. Them yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. they're going to act big. Listen to load music. And I'm certain, say, enough of them artists, they never make the song them for them. The song they make for dance hall. In a car and a dance hall. And we take the dance hall and put it in a car, in the ears of the pit of them. The gun this, the under that. Yeah. And we, the adults, I do, I, I do those things. Ka right? Ka Carla is saying the students won't take the taxi if it doesn't have the loud music. Right. That's and the I, thing. If and all it of them say, come if together. Every, right. Exactly. Come together and Let know them say, boy, them this, because guess this what? is the regulation. I'm going to show you something to how it bad. You have silent zones. Where the taxi man them are drive past, same way with them yeah, loud with the music. Loud music and nothing. Silent zone. So more and know the authorities them are about that. Blasting. See me? So Blasting. We, we, we lose certain principles and because value system. And value system because you see, the taxi man them probably lose it. Right? So if them lose it, what gonna happen to who we'll never know what it was? Yep. So who are come up with this this generation we are come up now, you know. Now I know because they are not being taught. And we know certain things because we were taught. Right, right. So if we now be good teachers. Imagine this society in a couple of years from now scary. The next set of people, we see them one where a taxi driver and this we, we, yeah, they mother kick them or kick off on the foot of a ground and spans on her face. True, man. Because it will come like a the normal thing that. Yep. So we have to understand where we're there with how, we, what, what kind of image we are portrayed to the youth them out there. Mm -hmm. And despite the changing times, we cannot allow the standard and the moral to fall and to change because time has changed. Me can't tell you no straight that up. That must be constant. Me and no picnic and no size. Exactly. Hey, you see which part me also live? They, them play ball cross, cross from there, so. And a couple of evening, well, some of the youth them have said, boy, Yo, Mr. J, if you come play some ball, I'm saying, I'm telling you something. I'm too old for here, man, I tell me about my mama, you know. I'm <laughs> too old because I be a little boy over there, and none of them are supposed to tell me about my mother. And at that, go on. Mm -hmm. Big people live crosses, or police live over there, so me live right there, so. And you have no business done at all. And you know, one of the wickedest things, Cassidy, is when the field grow up, none of them boys there, never mm -hmm. cut the field. Mm -hmm. None of them boys didn't cut the field. I miss the same one. One at a time, I get all back home, clean down the field, make, a, make it have all a bigger field and get grass. Right? And when me get the grass for them, plant the grass in the road, boy. You want, you want the grass dead. And me see them and I've got to pay some old man, some old farmer man, to plant the grass over the same field with them they're right over Port Morant. Enough people never know that. I me do it. 
So if them are, if them are new and stone are still me apart, it can't make them a bigger feel. <laughs> but it was in all good. Mm. It was in all good faith for you them have something for do recreationally. But me find say when a time for you them come together, you know, and make the thing better for themselves. No, totos. You have a one youth, I have a rate that youth there, would have grown and try to get you know, some money together to get a weed worker man to cut the field. But outside of that, you find that the youth them now nah, unite. They will come play the ball you know, and cuss the body and go on body. You know. But when they work together to preserve the same place where they, where, where, um, where they have them fun, it now nah, go on. Yeah. You know, if you do better than that. Sad. Better than that, you know, if you do better than that, youth. Because all the way, we want to see a better tomorrow. And we have to know how to be good team players. Teachers. Right? So the taxi man them be a team player. Baba man them. Team na play no dirty music. I saw it name. Baba man them. Team, team na man. play no dirty music. Taylor. Right? Yeah, put in put in some C D we are telling about one plus one and fractures and equation. Cause enough of them don't know them sitting there. Yeah, true. Put in something where we have Marcus Gavia talk about some sitting. Miss Lua talk about some sitting. Put in some doppy story sitting. <laughs> that never <laughs> <me> put in. <laughs> <laughs> right? Them there's something that we are going now, people. We need to just have a zero tolerance to it. Real talk. Pick the first scene of them lean. That's right. Every time. You know something? My daughter, at about age, and he was about 18, 18th birthday, or thereabout, she wanted to pierce her ears from when. And as you mentioned about parents not knowing what is happening with kids, yeah. she never dared pierce the ears. At the time when I thought she was there questioning, I want to pierce my ears and I want to... And that people would have thought that that was trivial or minor. And it was when she was pretty much an adult, a young adult, where she asked again and I said, okay, fine, if that's what you want to do, fine. And when she reached the age now where she, she pretty much an adult, yeah, she went and she did it a second time. No, me not really not control over that part because it wasn't my yeah. money she should get for to do it. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, parents need to know what is happening in their kids' lives. True. The kids need to have some reverence towards them parents. Too many parents, even from the primary school level, the kids running them head. Let me tell you something. My and daughter, I tell them what they want and what they want for doing, what they want for going on all these things. Me done the show the, the, the vibes with how me ban my daughter from the tablet and the reason why I ban her from the tablet and say this is to me weekend alone. You know, so she's sick out. Um, I went Tuesday. She sick out. She never got school Tuesday. Wednesday, no. She never got school Wednesday because she sick out. Mm -hmm. Thursday, she feel a little bit better. We send her to school, then we get a phone call, say, boy. She a up, so she no go to school today. Mm -hmm. You know, say Wednesday night, when me go home, my daughter come to me and whisper to me, say, um, Daddy, you know what? Um, because I was sick, mommy allowed me to watch TV. Right? I know it's not the weekend, which allowed me to watch the TV. And at that, you call yeah. honoring mm -hmm. and understanding the, 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 the orders where you set. Exactly. Because I don't say, boy, you know, watch the time, you know, this, you know, I explain to her mm -hmm. what you on during the week time and what she did, why this rule set. Mm -hmm. Because you put your tablet in um, before you eat in, because when you get your food feet, you can talk about, say, boy, you don't this and you don't that, and you don't want this, and you put your tablet in front of your plate. It can't work. Mm -hmm. So the rule set, and she understand where she violate. And also understand the importance of doing your homework and go your bed. Because of that, Miss J used to have to tell me if you do. So, if we don't set the orders as parents, we don't pick me on a friend. And on a friend them. Real talk. R right? We don't dare no, yourself if your friend, friend not pick me. No friend around here. So, we are them parents. First. Right? And... In the whole line of things, you have family, friend, or parents, relative, whatever you want, call it. It no put parents slash friend. Right. You have parent, you have parent, and you have them friend, you have them friend. And, and it's not saying that you can't have that rapport that you should have with your kids. You, it should be a case where you are the parent, and the child, is should, the child should be able to come to you and relate to you. Don't get us wrong. Yeah? But the part where you're going to kiss up. Yeah, and uh, uh, friend up because you want them to love you more than daddy. I want them to love you daddy more than mommy, and you want favoritism, and you want them to be in your good book. 
uh, while you're doing the wrong thing. That's not going to happen. None to not gonna happen. I guess what twelve sixty five I say. All right. I still blame the drivers because if every bus stopped playing those music, the children would still have to take a bus to school. That's right. Not everything a child want a mother would give it to him or her. So if the drivers stand out and don't play those music, see if they won't still have to travel with them. Plain M and simple. Maybe no driver on a picnic. Maybe no taxi driver, no bus driver, no have no picnic, no have no responsibility. I'm just not here. Sad to say. So, what if you see what all of us say? It takes opinion. a village to raise a child, and that is the truth. And we need to understand that. Carla says, um, girls sitting in boys' laps. Yeah, the driver won't make any money if him don't play the music. That really? I, yeah, but that is what them tell them. Say that, that, that is a poor excuse. Poor excuse. A lame excuse the drivers them have, right? That, that is like one of them sort of where somebody just make up because them just want to break the rule, right? Boy, I mean, I make no money because um, if, 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 if me go in at the bus park, I mean, I make no money. Mm. I have to stay up on the road, right? Boy, the bathroom, the bathroom, in the this and, the, and that, that, but when they depend on the road, you're not complaining about the bathroom. The bathroom is not depend on the road. <laughs> no bathroom is not depend on the road. So, we're not talking about in the bus park, not in the bathroom. Come on, oh, man. Boy. Right? Boy, the bus park won't patch out, but the road out there where we park up and probably even worse. We have to be real, real star and, and, and stop some. I don't even know you, sir. The nation come like it, it, it get away. It come to turn back ways. Right? Upside down. Get away. I don't, I don't understand what some of the things that we are trying to promote. You know, what are the basis behind it. Because mm. it really and truly nah make things better. It only uh, promote things to get worse. And then we same one, we uh, facilitate that. Mm. A cry foul upon something else. <laughs> Pity nice guy. Fall in your eye. Right, Bradley. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Bradley in an Otter B says, I don't know a real talk. When I was small, I couldn't even be in a conversation with adults. But that's what I'm seeing these days. Real boy, thing, I man. I mad. Me not no depend it with them. Mm. Me and them are not size. Brother, not talk to them not at all. Brother, they said that the man look mad and miserable. DJ Taz says, I could not tell my stepmom what I want when I was going to school. That is true. When mommy say, have this, you try to have it, I just don't have none at all. Simple. Real talk. Lisa, kids get to do what they want because their parents don't act like parents. That is so true. Many of them, not true. all of them, you know. Some of them really, really don't for real. Yeah. All right, we see a lot of people locked in. Um, good to have you guys on board. T, go pick up yourself. Nikki. Everybody who locked in, Carla Bradley, DJ Taz, my brother, big up yourself. All right, Nova in Peru, Kevin, Tampa, Florida. Is Nova in Peru or is her name Nova Peru? I wonder. Her, her name is Nova Peru, Nova right? Per She's in Peru. Nah, man, she's not in another Peru, man. Nova, tell us what's no, going with Nova. Nova, they are Illinois. Or is there, an, or is there a, 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 Peru a Peru in Illinois? In Illinois. Why do I th think that there's a Peru in Illinois? I, I don't know, Nova, clarify. <laughs> She's listening at work, pick up yourself, Nova. All right. Um, so, we uh, have some interesting stuff to talk, to about. talk about tonight, yes. Very, very interesting stuff. I love the topic tonight, the Vox Pop. I'm not lying. <laughs> I like it. I trust my friend Diane is listening in. And we dive right into that. So, we invite you to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Yeah, hey. Turn on your radio, or guess what? Go on the World Wide Web and check out Facebook live stream right about now. All right, Styles FM 96.1 fan page. All right, so the box spot goes. First impression lasts, or so they say. <laughs> That's so true. I like that part. So mm -hmm. they say. One, should a woman's attire on a date be taken as an indication of her in? Pensions after the outing. <laughs> Out of order. Mm -hmm. How dare them think that my one shoulder dress means that I want to be taken to that place and to do that thing. Oh, no, it doesn't. 
It was easy to draw on. There was no need for ironing of it. That's why I have it on. <laughs> Anyways, should a woman's attire on a date be taken as an indication of her intentions after the outing? Part two. Some things are biologically unavoidable. Yeah? But what's your view about someone who burps or eases their body in public? <laughs> Especially while on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like this topic. <laughs> does it matter? Part three. Does it matter who pays the bill on the first date? <laughs> yes, it does. Explain. <laughs> it's now 10 o'clock, peeps. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by... Nassal Navy's Native Audio Stage, Stage and, and Lighting. Lighting. Stick around. We'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town guess what styles fm has a new business number for you to call text and now whatsapp 518-2399 to advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And we were just about into the Vox Pop idea for tonight. And just in case you're just joining, welcome to the show. And let me share that Vox Pop with you once more before we dive right in. Yeah? First impressions last. First impression lasts. So, or so they say. First part says, should a woman's attire on a date be taken as an indication of her intentions after the outing? Part two some things are biologically unavoidable but what's your view about someone who burps or eases their body in public especially while on a date or should i say especially while you're at the table Ew. 
Part three, does it matter who pays the bill on the first date? If you say yes, explain. If you say no, 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 it no matter. Explain why. All right, so, people, 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 people. We dive into part one. The woman's attire. Now, the way the lady decides to put on, whatever she decides to put on to go on the date. We're asking if that should be taken as some indication. The man, should he look and say, yo, star, the cat is six in her black dress, you know, with above her knee, well above her knee, and show some legs in a star. She'll show a shoulder in a star and cleavage, you know. We know she'll try saying, or she'll try say, yo, is that a date, yeah? They try and make me go to cloud 12. Is that what her outfit is saying, gentlemen? Yes. No, it's not. Yes. Ladies, is that what her outfit is saying? No, it is not. It is simply... Let me tell you what it is saying. Tell me what it has said because it don't, it don't tell me already. <laughs> you, you tell me what it has said. Let me tell you what for many women it is saying. I quite idiot. Yes, you are. <laughs> sometimes no why should a man think that a woman who is going on a date she feels special mm. she feels pretty mm. she feels accepted mm. she feels sexy or woman's intuition and inclinations and her, her estrogen and all these things are now at their peak She's feeling good about herself. Her esteem is up. Yeah? And she puts on something that makes her look most flattering. Mm. And attractive, yes. But being attractive or feeling attractive does not mean that she wants you to take her wherever after and boop, boop, boop her. Then I will share her. She's just going on a date with you. Feeling pretty, feeling sexy, feeling like a woman should. And after the day, she wishes for you to take her back home. Just so, assist so, so. her. A little chops. Maybe she'll give you on the, on the cheek, a peck on the cheek. Uh, what is that? What, do, what does that isty mean? Huh? You're saying on a first date or on a date, a woman can't just go out with a man, have a lovely conversation, have a lovely meal first, have a lovely conversation, interact, laugh, socialize, of course, line. Of course, of course. And then you take her back home and put her... And she goes into her house and locks her door. And you got your yard? You can't, you can't, you, that can't happen? Yes. Is that what you're saying to me? It, it can happen. However. There, uh, there has to be that uh, known, uh, that it's a look boss. Uh, this naga uh, mm. what, so, what do you mean this so, has to be that known? So when you tell me, say, naga uh, mm, then me decide whether or not the oh, date I go uh, mm. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me get this straight, ladies. Yeah. Daddy Rude. Crofty Daddy Road is saying that the woman ought to tell the man prior to the date that this naga um intimacy, yeah, that estrator word not going um. So when he knows that before the date, him no bother carry her. No, on the me, date. no, I did not say that. That's what I implied. No, That's what I, I got from what you said. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I didn't implied. say That's that. That's what I interpreted <laughs> from what you said. So repeat yourself, sir. I, I said, yes, sir. Then him can decide whether or not him still want to go on a date. Him still want to carry her out. That's Which what I'm saying. Essence, you're saying you would not take her because you're not no. getting no, up. No, 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 no. no. Ladies, no. help me out here, ladies. I'm wondering if it's no. me or is it, is it me? It, because he's saying, based on what her response is, he will determine if he's going to bother to carry her on a date. Yes. In essence, you are, you it, are no, saying. No, hold on, hold on. Hold you are. Well, you are list, list, inexplicitly, list, 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 yes, you know. explicitly saying, if this woman decides that she not give me none, M you know what? Me more than likely, 99.9% no, .9 chance no, me no. not going to care about no way. No. Because me not get no machines. No, it not say that. It not say that. Cassidy. Right. Have you ever given me that, 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 that clueless look? Mm, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance. No. No, 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 no. Whether or not, so why bother still to ask go? her then? Why bother asking her then if it's gonna if it's gonna be a 50 50 chance anyway? You mean if it's a yo, my girl, not now run exactly? Why bother ask her that then? Because more than one, I want I look fool to you. That means, uh, well, I know you think it's a dumb co host you have my youth. No, if you are gonna no. ask her to, to tell you from before the date if she will give up anything at all, yeah, 
And you're going to tell me that that won't determine. Yes, the reason why you want to know me, from me, before on, me, me tell you is because too. it will determine if you go or well, not. I, well, I not. No, well, I not. Come on, no. well. Let, let me explain. Explain nothing, my youth. We're going to overseas, Carl. Like you are tell. Call on the 954. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Liar. Yeah, don't get so cut up. Excuse me? <laughs> no, look here. I am caught up, Dan, then. I am very caught up. No, but, but look here, look here. <laughs> the mm-hmm. man can rightly decide, but I'm one got you. But look here, too. The, the woman, on, on, hearing that, on hearing that question, can decide herself if she won't go on a date, too. If she bother won't go. It is insulting to go ask a woman if she won't give, 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 give up the nookie or not. Out of order, yeah. you out of order, Dan, Dan. So, so, so what I don't know. So, the, the, but here, yeah, the, woman, the woman can say, oh... I I I like type of why that is uh, you is. Let me not go on a date. She can't tell us so she I agree date, with you. Know? you. I agree okay. with you. But how dare you think to even go and address that issue? Make it come naturally, man. Is she going huh? gear? She going gear. Is she not going gear? Yes, she not that, going gear. Just go I, if you really like her and not I, have any ulterior I, I, motive. I agree than with that. you. I agree with you. But oh, it, you do. But 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 but, but, it, but if the man pan up first date, I, I'm exposing the man to my cross. The, 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 then the chief of the side knows that we're going to go to what you know. Okay, so, so, let me, so let me agree with you for once. Eh? Let me agree with you for once, momentarily. No, no, but it's simple. So there's no need to cut up. Me still cut up. You know, because, because look here, all right. Role play. <laughs> 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 nah, role play, you know. <laughs> so, no, but, but, you know, if, 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 we, if, if we said to that friend, and I said, look, Tan and I talk about what's going on Marina or something. And, but well, you know what I'm saying? XYZ have to go on. Mm-hmm. All right. Then my girl said, all right, okay. So, so now, uh, she has to do now, I'm going to go and say, but wait, this boy, this boy never know me if I had a man, I'm a man. Yeah. Them thing already. I agree with you, so, but guess what? So, it still so, so, leaves so, the it, stain, come, the disdain so, about it. it. It leaves a stain no, but, on you. Yeah, when it Very comes to man and, 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 and come pick up, I say, look, I'm going to go again. You know. Then, then, the, then the, she, she, she come out as a winner. She come out as a winner, you know. Cool. I would have given it to him, I'd have given it to him verbally. <laughs> I'd have given it to him <laughs> verbally. So, so, so there's not, 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 nothing to get caught up over. I still caught up, Mr. Dan Dan. The very thought of him belittling the woman asking her that question. <clears throat> no, nah, man. I'm not, I'm not, I overreact too, yeah, overreact too much. No, man. eh-eh. Yes, man. Eh, yes. Eh. In my volunteer motive from the beginning, from the get go, it hurt me. It hurt me. <laughs> mm. Never one came and got nowhere. Anyway. The, never one came and got nowhere in truth and in fact. I saw me my look. Old Croft. <laughs> ah, relax. Anyway, later. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Gracie says, long time in her ear, Dan Dan. That's so true, yeah? Good night to you, she says, Dan Dan. Lisa says, why would a woman go out with a man when the man asks ahead of time about sex? I that mean, crosses the line. We have a caller on the four five nine five four five. Three. Hi. Good night. Hello. Welcome Hi, to the Daddy show. Road. Big up. Daddy road. Big up. Um, Re- respect, respect. Miss Clear. Yes, sir. I'd like to ask you the why, why should the lady put her, her uniform if she's a nurse? She's supposed to wear her uniform on a date. I would expect that unless she's coming straight from work, sir. Oh, so she has to dress appropriate, sexy to a, to a truck. Right. Uh, what if she What if she want to see if she go to that? What is no no good man? If she wants to what? See that the, the, the man she go out with. She she she. We have been talking before you went out on a date. Mm-hmm. Over the phone, and then you went out on that date, and that time she were in the mood per se, and want to know what kind of man she got, and she was the one that made the advance. What should the man do? Not, it's not up her. to him to decide if he wants to continue. If she makes an advance at him, chances are the average man would give in, might I add. Sure. But let us say sure. that he doesn't want to give in. It's for him to decide, no, sir. This one no, here too ready to give up this thing. I, I said they were conversing before the date, and uh, and she thought they uh, now they should go out and she they were in a place say uh, in in a place where it's all convenient and she think that she should make the advance because these things do happen. In I know the that. Place. Okay, so what should the man do? Cancel the date or would the woman order to ask the man? 
it's up to him to decide that. No, I said if the if the man you said if the man do it, he would be out of order. If the man I says no, 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 that's a whole different thing. If the man say him not going on the date unless she give it up, that's different from the fact that they're on the date and she ask him for that advancement. It's a different thing. If it's a case where she's saying, "Me now, what I'm gonna do with you if you not give up that, you know, that's a different thing, sir. Oh, 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 it's only work for the woman, not the man. The, the man would be a crop. That's what I'm just trying to understand. If the man is telling the woman that he's not going to go again with her on the date because she doesn't want to have the sex, that makes yeah, him yeah. a crop. If the woman says to the man, listen, I will go on a date with you, but you have to give up certain things before I go with you, when that makes her a crop too, sir. No. Okay. Have it your own way. <laughs> like, but like, I think it's the mood and the and the thought that being it and the respect for the for the date. You're putting a whole different spin on the whole scenario. That's what he's doing. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you. Yeah, okay. All right. So I think there's a spin on the story right there because if it is that they're already on the date and either of them make an advance and they both want to get it on, then all the best to the two of them. I'm not saying he's a crook for trying to get her into that space at that time. What I'm saying is, if he's going to determine that he's not going to go again on this date because she's not going to give it up, that makes him Listen, a crook. let me tell you something straight up. And we have to, we have to call a speed a speed. Big man thing. You see, if you're a woman link up, and you see the woman in a some tight jeans and worse on a hipster, you have to know straight up say nothing now go on for you. <laughs> so jeans can't come off. As you try to tell me. What's the point you're listening down the road? If she wear jeans, mm -hmm. right? If she don't have something with an easy access. Oh, please. Right? That simply means say, no. she don't go upon it with no intention. No, right? no, you have that's no rude. What you mean? No, that's rude. Listen, my man. I could have been. Hold on, man. Hold on. 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 One second, sir. Stick a pin, sir. Boy, the lady me, speaking now. We know where to talk about. Hold on. Me not have no pin. Hold on. Stick a button. Something. If it is that I was in pants for the whole day. Yeah? Mm. I ain't going to go be the way I go pants. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. I was in pants for the whole day. Yeah. Probably all the tight pants. Yeah. And now I went home. Yeah. Beard and everything. And yeah. decided to go on the date with this gentleman. Yeah. You tell me, sir. Depends on where, where I go. Hold on, man. You're changing the, changing the mood. No. You're telling me if I put on a dress like this, what me have on? No, because me tell the pants from yeah. the man, I mean, a pants at work. Yeah. And me feel hot and just feel miserable in the pants. Right. I don't want to wear pants tonight. I want a nice little dress to feel cool and relaxed. Yeah. You're telling me that my attire so is saying free to flow. him it's easy access? Yeah. No, it's on the basis that I have decided not to be so clustered again in any more jeans. I want to feel more relaxed now. It's not to say to him, oh, come stick your finger up there and do your thing. No, then no, I, no. Then, then wait a say. No, I wait just I told you. Hold on. Saying wait a second. Don't, don't, do don't do it. You say don't do it. It no, I said don't do it. It's not saying to do it either. What may I read? What may I say? No, that's what you men do. Think no, I'm a, think let me not read what I say, man. It no, I said don't do it. You men think too much with the lower heads You see jeans now? Oh, my God. The jeans just said, boy, this will take a while. Oh my Jesus. Yes, oh so Lord. So the, the frustration kicking already. So that, that, that's more a deterrent. So did you know that a jeans can, on some women, can be more sexy than a dress? We don't say no sexy, but I don't easy access. No. That me I talk about but access. Anything you want to take off can take off. A jeans can come off in a seconds, my youth. I don't know what you talk about. A jeans can Yo. be taken off in seconds. You never have, have jeans, you, you never have yeah, a jeans yet. We have, we have to wiggle up in a... You know what? Call her on the 453. Good night, caller. Yeah, man. Good night, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, listen to the conversation, man. You see the type of dress when you talk, that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. That type of dress named Tempted to Touch. Bop, 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 bop. So, hold on then. 
Yeah, and I know Barry's talk about that, that you know? sexy dress you wear and your perfume makes me wanting to touch and all these things. Yeah. yeah big we know the song, but what me I said to you is my youth. Are you telling me though that even though the dress looks tempting to touch, yeah. is she saying that she wants you to touch her? No, Turn your radio down, please. Turn your radio down. No, but no, but the feeling it could be like well, I want to touch our wall at Yes, out, but it? isn't it for the man to learn to control himself, sir? Yes, I do. But you know, sometimes you have the earth where the heart can control the temper. No, man. Big yes, man, man. temper of a control at the woman say, okay, star. Frock or dress or pants or skirt or whatever, star. Yes, and if she yes, instigates certain things, that different. And if it's only decides size, we're not going to do this thing here, that's different. But it can't be because our dress looks sexy upon her and her legs look pretty. You think it's okay, she has said, boy, I want it. No, she's not saying that. Not necessarily so at all. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay. Yeah, man, but sometimes, you know, the, all the things that mm-hmm. from she look good, mm-hmm. you have to get that. How will you say? Yes, man. So I think that. All right, sir. So I can know what you're talking about. All right. <laughs> See you good see me, yeah? All right, darling. Thanks for calling. See you, see. All, All right. right. So, Listen. tempted to touch. Me now fight. No temptation. You try fighting? No temptation. You try fighting. I left the woman them alone. Call her on the 453. Good night, no, no, call her. No, no, no. Yeah, turn on the radio, please. Uh, can you read it down, please? I need it clear. That's the road. Where are you, brother? Hey, what's up? Yeah, on the road coming into Port Antonio, and I'm listening to the conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a very interesting one, you know, but I think I want to um, work with Daddy Road um, argument tonight. Yeah. Me know. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Why? People go on a date with um, whatever motive. Yeah. A, a woman will go on a date, and she say, all right, I'm preparing for anything tonight, you know, so anything can happen, I'm going to go with a light dress, I'm going to wear something easy. Anything, hey, anything, or anything. anything. Is this my heart. big friend calling me? It can go with a hard heart. Nothing can go on it up. Hold on there. Simple. Tight pants. Hold on there. Hard to come off and well. Ah, uh, thank you. Hold on there. Thank you. <laughs> Is this my big friend calling me tonight? Tell us again. Is this my big friend calling me? My partner in crime? Yes, man. Yes, yes. No, son. I can't believe my partner in crime. I talk so star. <laughs> me not believe it, star. Very good. No, man. <laughs> no, for real. But, but uh, let me ask man. you this. It's an intention. Let me ask you this. Are you mm-hmm. saying then that all women who go on it dates... Be, uh, hold on a man. Hold on a man. Daddy Road, are you saying that whenever a woman goes on a date, she goes with only one intention, sir? No, I, I'm not saying that all women, you know. I'm saying that some women, I believe that if, 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 a, if a woman decides to go on a date, mm-hmm. she knows what kind of date she wants to go on. Yes. She, she has a particular motive. She wants to just a particular way. And so if she believes that this person is the ideal person or something can go on on this date. She's going to dress that particular way. I lure, she allure no, him. No, she allure him. No. Because I'm going to date just to feel out how this person reasons, how they think, how they you know, what are their views on certain things? And because I wear a dress, does oh, not mean that on the first date or on the date, I'm saying I want to do something afterwards. Woman. Clear. That's a woman. That's clear. I'm not saying that for some women it's not oh, possible. I'm just saying that. Trouble. I am just saying that. We can't put every woman in a bucket and say, once a woman dresses a certain way, her attire is saying her intentions are for sex. I don't agree with that general statement. I don't. Let me tell you this. Me and you go for one date. And you were sitting well sexy and gonna ask me, what is my five-year plan? A five minutes alone, my brain can calculate right now. So no bother with that. <laughs> now ask me them the oh question then. Never feel. 
Barn and Crime, I hope you keep on keep it keep listening to this to the show tonight and keep feel free to I'll leave you two to battle that one out, alright? Alright. Big up. Keep it locked, alright? Oh my goodness. Big my up girl. to my dear friend. You know what kind of Mr. pressuring, B. pressuring them something they're going with? Who don't understand that? <laughs> right? Uh, hey, listen to me. Man lose them appetite. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> When a, hey, when a woman, a, hey, listen to me. Lose which appetite? For the food in front uh-huh. of it. Uh-huh. Right? And another one increases. Mm-hmm. Listen to me. Right away, my girl. You, you, you not, as a matter of fact, from pick up of the yard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We everybody want care going. We just, we just want to turn back. <laughs> Call her on the four, five, three. Men are from Mars indeed. Women are from Venus. Good night, caller. Hi, good night. Calling from New York on the way to work. When you call for the foreign number? Uh, um, oh, no, I just dial it from the um, from the website. Oh, oh. All right. Um, What's your take tonight, darling? Listen, as as you said before, a woman who feels confident in herself and like dress up and she wants to go out. A lot of times, they don't, we don't have that thing on our mind. We just want to get to know the person. Thank you, sister. And have, Thank and you. have companionship. Thank you. Know, you. Just go out, enjoy a meal, enjoy oh, a Jesus. drink, and, you know, and see where it leads further down the line. Thank you, darling. I love you. Then put us... Uh, the, you understand? I love you, sister. I love you. Put us... Me love you too, because further down the line later on. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. It's not an hour from nowhere to. Thank you. No. Let's talk, talk about a month down the line. Uh. A month. <laughs> yes, a month. Two or three more days. Hey. Don't it, my girl? Cassidy. Yes. Cassidy. Yes. Blood pressure rise and blood vein yes. bust in your brain. One month. And that's for what you think you are going to get and enjoy. No. Exactly. Lord of mercy. What's your name, darling? Sharon. Sharon, I love you tonight for that comment. Thank you so much, sister. <laughs> Why, Sharon? I'm so- glad I got some company tonight. <laughs> Why, Sharon? I'm so sure I love you again, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> One month. <laughs> Thanks for calling, Sharon. Do be safe on your way to work, all right? And keep it locked. I love styles. Okay. Oh, we Thank love you very you much. Too, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You see, and I every women don't go no. out every day well, thinking about sex. Listen. All you men live for is sex. Listen, clear. You have, to, an, you have to understand said. the thing. You see, if I have a money to burn, <laughs> I'm gonna burn up some money tonight, Cassidy. Me say, all right. You know, say me go link clear. I'm gonna burn up. Me, me, me have a quota, do you know? You see, if nothing I run, me have, to have a quota. If 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 something I run, you know, have no quota, right? Me mm-hmm. gonna burn up five grand tonight, you know. And you start calculate the five grand include the gas bill, you know. We can put it in your car. <laughs> so you put one two grand in your car, Cassidy, for the gas. Just enough for car you go and car you come back. Then now you say, all right, you have a three grand left for anything or anything. But you have only spend like all one, one five on the date, depending on how it will run. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> No sir. No, it's the worst co-host I have. No, I man. Swear. We have to talk all the things because we don't want the money. I burn up the money and draw a nil. <laughs> so you're saying you're going to spend... Oh, my goodness, if Cassidy ever smell over there. You're saying you're going to spend... Impress. Based... Oh, my yes. goodness. And oh, impress. Because first and foremost, you know, Cassidy. So, so hold on. If you wear jeans, you won't spend much. No, it depends on... Listen, that's oh, what I'm saying. It Jesus. depends on where you're going. Right? All right number one, Cassidy... If you know, say, it's not certain type of thing you, you expect from Albia, you don't care so you don't care to go certain place. <laughs> oh my goodness. See? Gracious. You don't so care go certain place. She, you can't go a movie, yes. Right? So she can't wear one jeans, go to the movie. You I'm know, it's romantic scene. You know, re- no, I've gone show where I watch. I want to. I've gone show where I watch. We're full. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! Oh gosh! And you're lucky, me not like the bootleg man down the road too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. me not the pan where you're the pan. My kinaki co-host right? come from man. No, but we have to know. That's why I'm saying we, we need to know. Listen, my girl. All the thing. So, so we're the take thing, her. Okay. All the thing I go run. So 
you're going to decide on the kind of woman it is to know where to take her. That's what you're saying. No, we're going to decide upon what she's up to. What she up but to. how will you know what the woman is up to? You're, you're saying you're going to decide where to go based on how she looks? Remember, you're not going to just invite out to a woman so you know, or a number, a number two, a woman, I'm going to just accept an invitation just so. Mm-hmm. It's going to be based off a certain conversation we want have been mm-hmm. having and decide, so, you know, say, I want care about that girl. So like. she wants to go to Devon House. What's your take on that? Ice cream is so dear. We can't go. But there are romantic spots at Devon House. Ice cream still is so dear. And it's free if you go over there, so we can't go. And if she wants to go to the ruins in Ocho Rios. The ruins? Yes, that's a restaurant. One of those restaurants. Well, what for that? Calculate now. <laughs> No, sir, you know what? <laughs> Let's catch up the time, please. It's now 10.30. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. <laughs> Real talk is sponsored <laughs> by... Native <Dimmer Fool. laughs> Audio Stage and Lighting. My Lord, we soon come back. Mm. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at a. 893-2266 DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor find unbelievable prices on tiles toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers and much more get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale visit any three locations in Portland Buff Bay, St. Margaret's Bay and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware. Your foundation starts with us. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our free. Look, man. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, 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 yes the microphone there right ladies and gentlemen there's a competition going on right now with with um some photography competition with cast the enter more and cast to give you some details right now so you can organize on yourself and vote for cassidy straight up he was a photographer right if i'm young entrepreneur he might do him thing in my life and sit on your river party we never invite me but if we did ever know about it me blocky can you forgot which part of my work right but I want him telling you know, some information right now for ensure that he has to top this competition. Please, sir. All right. So it's the NCB um, photo competition. Um, I have a photo from I took in Clarendon from Salt River. Mad. So, yeah, if you're going there, you'll see my name, Omar Davis, and it's from Salt River. Basically, all you have to do is once you go on either Facebook or the NCB page, you'll see the link. So you click on the link, you type in your email address, and you just vote. Which Facebook? Um, either my own, well, I'm going to share it as Styles, but it's on my own. A uh, few people have been sharing it so far. Um, I've been sharing it on my WhatsApp too. Uh, Cassidy, like, you work on Styles? <laughs> yeah. You face a year of Facebook platform, bigger on Styles platform? No. You talk about it on Styles no. yet? No. All right. All me know about it. 
because people are sharing it. Who so share with me? Me not sure. All right. Me not sure. Tell the people them. People have been blasting tell, you dinner. Tell the people them. Oh, forget you up on Styles Facebook thing. Can you go put it up on Styles Facebook right now? Mm -hmm. right? So basically, once you go on any one of the Styles pages, I'll be sharing the link right now. So that's all you have to do. Go on the page, click on the link. You'll see my name, Omar Davis. Click on the link, type in your email address, and vote. No. Easy as that. Here we are going to know people. Yes, so when they put up the link on Styles. I can page, vote every day. Right? Uno, I go share that. And phone a link them and tell phone a friend if you share and feed them friend link. Right? And the youth is a very, very good youth at art. Seen? And videographer. May I try to get him to get in the porn industry, but he don't want to do it. I'm going to say, no, then I'm going to be the director and I'm going to be the cameraman. I'm going to say, Dan, it's a billion dollar industry that. but. He might take in step in strides. He might make some Christian movie and it's on the first. Praise and Jesus. then now, men him talk about the other oh, part. Jesus. So for now, he have one, one, one competition, competition where he enter NCB thing. And I want to you know, give Cassidy all the endorsements that's <laughs> possible. So he might put it up like in the next three minutes, people. Who are watching on, on, on Facebook, right? Simple. And what style is Facebook page, sir? Styles of him Portland and Styles of him fan page. So... Go up on Facebook, type in Styles FM Portland, and then we'll see whatever they need to see. Styles yeah. FM fan page. All right. And every day, you got to update it and put it on the front part of Styles FM Facebook page until yeah, the competition you can vote over, every right? every day until, I think, the 3rd of December. All right. So, when you, when you win, broke a piece of cheese and give me unclear. Of course. Yeah, All right. Me and Daddy Road. <laughs> me not come last. Oh. All right. Respect. Respect. So to we're going to go right, right into the Vox Pop. I want to listen to them Vox Pop and people because me are telling the truth. No, no, me no. not understand what they're up to. <laughs> well, well, well. I know what the woman is going to say something different. But me are going to say, of course it matters. Yeah. Because if she come in and jeans pants, well, and you know me I say, then I know I say, boy, maybe something will go on. And she tell her, she give her a clear sign, say, yo, no. Come in and look at impy, skimpy, something, then I don't know, say, all right, just get through the date. And there's a possibility that, you know, on the romantic walk, with the outing and the towel near to you, you have a, a big towel in the car or something that you can spread out, maybe something <laughs> God. Ladies, you don't kill me. I'm not a dirty boy, I'm just a romantic guy and uh, a person that will eventually just break with the moment. Um, as far as paying the bill goes, um, there's no debate on that. There's none whatsoever. Taking a woman out on a date, definitely I'm going to pay. And if I don't have that big bag of money, I will say, listen, ma, I got five grand. Um, you know, see if we can keep in that name. If she frown, then the date's off. Right there, so. And if she say, Ray, then we work with it because a girl they can work with. I understand. Um, well, you know, some of the time some people try to hold it in and it eventually come out. Me earlier say, let it out when it come, when you feel it, because you never know when a sneeze might come. A sneeze might happen. And it come out louder, and then that is more embarrassing. Yeah? So, I don't have a problem with the burp. But it all depends on how loud it is, too. Yeah, that, this and all, I have a problem with. But on a real, the dressing says a lot. Trust me, it does. And ladies, please take note that it does. So, if you decide to say, you know, if you, you know long term, then I've got just a call in for long term, a short term. I mean, so my time, you know, it's short term, them, it's short term, them, mental, it's short term mentality, work out in the long term, you know. Okay, I'm going to decide, all right, boy, I have some money, but just I got chicken, I eat a food off him, and then he's such a lovely guy that he end up being you know, married and all of them things there. So, yeah, dress according to the feeling. No, that you know, that may I say you no. Know, if she ever leg a fat, if she leg a sneaky one and smooth squeeze out and everything good, then I have a problem with that. Honestly, I have a problem with that. But the thing where that make it funny, and am definitely gonna laugh is if she sneeze 
and they come out. You know, I've been carved oh, and they just I don't have a problem with that. Trust me, I have a problem with that. I first somebody to joke it out. Yeah, I'm mm, just joke it out. But then, you know, it's a, it have a wicked smell that now would lick your wickedly, but they don't know me still joke it out. You know what I mean? That's original joke, so I'm just joke it out. I don't believe that a woman attire is an indication of her intention after the outings on her date. No. If you're in a relationship, well, that's different now. You know that probably you're in the you know, sex dress and you're probably going on a date and you stop one place and don't look quick or something, you know, keep the relationship spicy. But I don't believe that um, if, for even if it's our first date or a second date, no, your attire does not indicate your intention. You're dressing, you're dressing to how you feel. That's not an indication. Oh, the burp and is their body. Oh my gosh, that's that upsets me. Especially if you're on a date in a restaurant. Imagine, no, no, that will turn me off completely. That will literally turn me off. Imagine you're on a date, even if the first date, and he's bad. No, that's just disgusting. I have no problem if you're doing that. Oh my word, but we should know how to act in public. No, that's a no, no. That's a big turn off for me. It's the first date. If the male asks lady out, if he said that he can pay all of it or if he can pay half and half, that's okay. Whatever he mention it, him pay for it. If she mention it, she pay for it. And if they come to an agreement, then pay 50-50. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> welcome well, back the 50 no. 50 thing boy i kind of old school but we soon come to that part um no old listen. school first date gentleman pays i'm sorry listen ladies you need to understand something mm-hmm. that we know that you want to feel you want to be sexy you want to feel sexy i'm sure you're not feeling sexy for you alone right no Oh, we got we got a call, right? Caller on the four five three. Hello, caller. Good night. <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm here again, man. Yes, sir. All right. Um, one of the time me uh, invite all these girls. See, eh? it's like me uh, give her a notice. Like I go even to go on about a week, yeah, a week before, you know. Mm. So me, uh, yeah, me like um, see how we have it. The day when the event come up. It's like me have um the car, um need something, some part. And that day, so me say, all right, this money where me go go on the event, me not got no money for um sponsor this really. So me I think about putting it up, but me I say since I'm little really about it and the upper have a mind on it. But when me wait, when me reach to our house, it's like after that, that she must walk in some cash. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I tell her that you must walk with some cash. Because um what money I have is to deal with something on the car, so I'm not going to <laughs> So she she comes out the car and she sit down, right? And when she sit down, I tell her <laughs> So she said what about the car and no, go back into her house to look at her right check up the money. I was there waiting, waiting, and then she come and then she had to line lock up. That's too old, yeah. She had to lock up her light. She had to lock up her light. Lock up her light, her house light, her house light, her house light, and everything. So, it's like, because I put, during her phone, it's like, she lock it up. So, the, the next day, <laughs> next day, I call her the answer. You know what you tell me, sir? I'm the first man I invite her out. And tell her about the walk with money. <laughs> so, I said, I said, clear. Don't you see me do the right? Boss, I don't see nothing wrong. God knows. Uh. I don't say nothing wrong because you lay the card on the table, brother. I don't say nothing wrong. Straight up. Right, Jay. I don't do it, but I don't say nothing wrong. Okay, boss. Trust me, boss, I don't have. So, Bright Jay, 
Yeah. Where were you planning to take her? No, no, it's a club. Eh? It's a, yeah, even it's a go on a one club, you know? But you should have just carry out one park or something and just eat one ice and kind of have no much money, man. You, we ain't about fancy, fancy event and you know, no money. And the woman must walk with money. But you're not easy, bright guy. No, but... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I have the money, you know, but I don't really use sporting and put on the money that I can't go need the part. Well, nobody carry out the time of the day when you know no money. I mean, mark you. I'm not no. saying she couldn't carry money because the average woman who has sense will go out and carry her money or get back some money. But for you to tell her, you know, say hello, make sure you walk with some money. No, man. We will come out and I will my door like a light, same way too. If you want to then that show me the type of person she has, it's like, it's not, it's not a good thing, it's not a good thing that maybe the party needed for my car. That um, I could really see the type of person she are. Are you gonna because use that to determine the kind of woman she is, though? On a serious note. But, <laughs> but a, a real, a real. No, a because real guess woman, what? No. Guess what? A real, a real woman. No. No, sir. Me not agree with you. I am, I am, I am done with funds and cash, and we supposed to go to our event. Yeah. Can Maybe I owe you do it. No. Was it your first date with her? Just low, low on me at the time. Right, eye. And, and then she had a lock off. <laughs> <laughs> right, eye. Yeah. Was it your first like date? <laughs> hey, when, when, me, when me say it to her, she never say, no, I don't worry about it. She just come out to the car like that. <laughs> a serious woman. Look here, that, right, eye. Yeah. <laughs> May I ask yeah. you, was it the first date you're going on with her? <laughs> yes, at first. But Jesus, no, 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 right, eye. Yeah. The first date? Yes, man. If you're not able to go as yet, make it little one next time when you get some more money or you can spend on the lady or spend with her. Yeah? And if it is that you, you go, you know, some difficulty, you can probably turn to her and say, um, Mommy, you have any, you know, money can help me a little bit because it kind of go over. That's kind of embarrassing, but at least it doesn't sound so bad. But when you tell her up front on the first date, are you carry out, you know? Are you an inviter? I'm not going to tell us. Make yes, sure yes. she have money because you, you have money but you can't spend it. No, sir. Eh-eh. Eh-eh. Come here, sir. Up to it, and she have a lot of money to go. So, I don't want to tell her that if she can't see it, she's going to feel a way. You know what I mean? But the woman doesn't have the money neither for care no with her. So, she, so, she, so she left and go, go in her house, you know. She doesn't have the money either. If you go care with her, if you go spend on you, so you carry her out. Then she must go out with you, you know, and spend her own money. No, sir. Yeah. No, sir. Mm-mm. But I say, but me, me not say nothing wrong with the way you do here, sir. Nothing me not say wrong with the way you do. She out of her, but she a lock off light. <laughs> she lucky she get a call the next day. <laughs> later, brother, later. <laughs> yeah, man, be love yourself. Cool. No, hey, bright day, but you hear you? It not do it, you know. But nothing wrong with bright day, I do. But it not do it. No, I don't know where I go. Let me go see. Another caller on. There's another caller call call quickly. <laughs> Four five three. Good night, caller. Welcome. Yo. Hello. Yo. Bright day, boys. One. Listen. One bright day, brother. This I call you know. Do one right. Do one right. right theme. Which is right. Thank you, sir. Bright day. Listen. Come to my listen. Run. Run. Die. We know he he no listen go. Come on, right. You should put off the date, or everybody doesn't want to get her money. Exactly. Put mm-hmm. off the date. Simple, you know, you should put off it. We know you're more calling, you're going to laugh, you know. But before, you should put off the date. As an... You can't do that. Can't do that, real time. No, sir. <laughs> Respect. You see my bright man? I'm a bright guy. We hardly are here, brother. Yeah, the, you're kind of breaking up. Yeah, the connection, the connection is so wonderful. Yeah, can you hear me good now? A little better. Go ahead, quickly. We said the lady right, man. The lady right. The kind should put up with it. You understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the lady to walk to somebody. It's not easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are you calling from? <laughs> where are you calling from? Swift River, all right. Uh, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Thanks for calling. Keep it locked, yeah? 
Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Respect. All right. So the connection is kind of poor too. Um, Bright here is just simply out of this world. Carla from Mon from Maypen says, Bright here, road, do man never do a better thing. Gracie said, Bright here, no easy. Let's see what else Gracie is saying. Um, <laughs> no, sir. Oh boy. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie has some things there. She says, um, that a road of one track mind. Another caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Yes, hello, good night. Yes, sweetie, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. And you? Not too bad, darling. Right here cracking me up. What's your view tonight? Yes. I was listening to this gentleman calling about the lady. Yes. Yes, I think he's taking women for granted. Mm -hmm. What he should have done when he realized that he has some fixed dress to do on his car. He should have gone to her in person and uh, um, explaining to her what, what, uh, what has been happening to him with his car. Yes. And then plan the date for another day. Right. But on his first date... Absolutely really absurd. Said, turning off the light and, and go inside. I think she felt disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he's not smart. He's not thinking. Yes. Gentlemen don't do that. Right. So I think he should have learned his lesson from then. And let I hope he doesn't do it again. Let me ask you a question. Yes. All right. Him same turn up nonetheless, right? And him said, boy, look, um, my car I need to fix. And the money where I don't care about the date, I have to fix the car. So we can't go up on the date. But can I come inside nonetheless? No, no. Well, um, <laughs> if, he, if he comes... On the day then, and he said that to me, depends on how he says it. Yeah. And they'll be watching facial, ex facial expression to know if what he's saying is genuine. And if it's somebody who I'm really interested in, maybe I would say to him, let us choose somewhere else. Yes. No, what man on the money? I, in I was and more maybe, welcome. you know, maybe I would let him... But, <laughs> eh? Well, we don't go out on that date. No, right. So we're not go out, but... We can't we, come inside for a small drink and a little yeah, talk and yeah, make a yard. Yeah, we can't come inside. But you're not still over. Well... And you're not half a lock, half a light. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine all that lady cursing in her mind. Yes. So, I won't take command, so I take command to school. <laughs> no, I can't agree with that. Some negative things. Because <laughs> <laughs> maybe she was looking forward to that date so much. Yes. And felt so disappointed. And to be treated nicely and, you know, pampered and stuff, yes. And maybe she put out all her effort to look so nice. And wear our and best her dress, face. yes. Right, because you know that the first impression counts. Right. Yes, so I imagine the effort maybe that she had put her out. I'm going to do her ear and her nails and all these things. And, and getting that, he's not thinking. He wasn't thinking at that time. Not at all, my love, not at all. And I hope he doesn't allow that to happen to him again. Real talk. <laughs> all right, darling, yes. thank you so much for calling. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> it's Solomon from Eric Castle. All right, big and up so yourself. I, I we're talking about um, wearing short dress. Yes. And... Well, you know, um, summer gone. I just felt like maybe looking a little sexy. Right. So I wore a short dress. Right. Yeah. And um, I had so many men externing, mm -hmm. and I felt good about myself. So wearing a sexy dress doesn't implicate that. Sometimes um, what men think, that's not what you are thinking. True. But you know how men are? Yes. Let you, the woman, know as to nicely and respectfully um, set your standards. Right. Because we know men look at the physical. That's what grab their, their imagination. Oh, that's yes. That. That's what grab their eyes. They look on the physical. Mm -hmm. Then they get to know you better. But I think men should go on longer dates. True, man. Yes. True. And maybe that's why men More keep often. falling out of love because they do not get enough time to know the individual. They just want the sex. Never know the person. But there are certain basic characteristics and qualities True. that a man should look for in a woman. True. 
And yeah. not just the no, basic no, one no, of the no, sex. No, no, because once they see you looking nice, the first thing they look, they look at the physical, yes. they look on inside of your clothes. Yes, true, true. So we, the women, have to set our standards. True. Respectfully, respecting our men because we can't do without them. Because they are very important in our lives. Mm -hmm. oh. Because when a man touches you, oh. you know the feeling that you get. Oh, right? you hear that? Yes. Answer, woman, answer. I know how to handle situations, setting our standard. Real talk. Yeah, but I love when a man admires me, you know. Because if I'm going out and a man said, wow, I like whatever, it yeah. makes my day. Yes. When, a, when a woman says, Miss Solomon, you look nice. It, when a man tells me that, um, it does more to my self esteem, it makes my day. Oh, big up like, yourself. Just like today, just like today, when I when I um, dress up, I felt so good when a gentleman said, Wow, you're looking so nice. It made my day. I have been happy since, just thinking about wow. what he said and the expression on his face. Oh, so my we God. need a woman. We need a woman. But it's all there and the situation and even all we handle it to. Real talk. Real talk. All right, all right love. Thank all you, right, Mr. Solomon. Solomon. Thanks for calling. Okay, you have a great weekend. You too, you darling. Too. Yes. All right. Listen so to me somebody now. Somebody made Miss Solomon's day today. She said something to me. She said something a while ago. I'm mean, going to change my mind. Mm -hmm. Listen now, Cassidy. Woman, I don't know bother with this dress up sexy business. <laughs> because, Cass. Me not go no with no woman, Miss Solomon or also Miss Eric Castle, right? And the dress sexy and every I don't know and what to every do man. This. Every man I go say, yo, she's sexy. <laughs> and me I go and go draw a nil. <laughs> Nobody with it. Nobody with it. Cause everybody say, yo, he must cop that later. Oh, and me go draw a nil. So nobody gracious. with it. Wear your jeans. Wear sitting tight. I don't w always want to be in jeans. Wear one rough pants or something. Good night, Carla. Carla, good night. Yeah, good night. Welcome. Yeah. Bright, yeah, look, if you're lock off, I'm going to lock off. <laughs> <laughs> Bright, yeah, you should have a jug of ice water. Go to my cup, but they have to do money. I'm going to see you, yeah, Bright. You see, you have bright like when you broke that in your pussy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me tell you something now about, about the first date now. Yes. I went out on a first date, you know. I make her tell her something. <laughs> I sleep with that man, you know. Yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Stop it nice. Stop it nice. Eh? I never do anything. Right. That's right, sister. Mm. She is my lover now for five years. What? Why? We really for what I'm disappointed. I'm only thinking on the first date because I tell him. I tell him that I'm not doing you know, because of your first night. I'm not doing you. I am not doing you. I'm not doing you. I'm not But you didn't want it, though. No? Oh, no, no, no. You didn't want it, don't. No? You never, never want, want it? Yeah, man, in the world. Let me say, he did well, want it. Yes, and with me reason with him, man. Me reason with him, I'm telling him, say, he never be here, you know, but me not here tonight. Well, at ah, least, ah, 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 I ah, can't ah, live with that. A promissory note. Promissory yes. note. Yeah, me can't know. live with that. Yes, so I'm telling him, say, me never be here, you know, but me not here tonight. Uh, tonight, I first night. They all look too cheap for you tonight. All right, fair enough. And reason with reason, so tell you ain't come down for that. And at five years now. Yeah? They're not that. You see, you see, if you never promise him, not even <laughs> one more day you get. <laughs> <laughs> no, ask him. If me never promise him, in a whole day I take it. Ask him. But ask him. If me never promise you. I, I bet you tell us, tell us, he don't even know no one that know him. Pass the road like he don't know you. <laughs> no, man. No, he not do that. <laughs> nah, do that. He nah, do that. Whoa. Where are you calling from? Eric Castle. Man. All right. Big up to the crew in Eric Castle. Thanks for calling. <laughs> okay. All right, darling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Carla, Gem, Gem in Golden Grove says, that one want a box. Make the man wait so long. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Um, that is Nicky's, what a catch. No, Nicky, boy, I don't want it. Nicky, that catch, good, 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 Nicky. Because he's like, you, you should have seen his face when she said she sleep with him. Yes! And she said, him not getting on, he wants him face change, I tell you, Nicky, I can't tell you. Oh, my goodness. All right, it is now 10, 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Nassal, Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Ho 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 Styles FM Jingle Bells This must Advertising package Get more for less When you advertise Your business With Styles FM This Christmas Get 10 to 30% More on your Ad packages Starting October Contact our Sales team For details At 518-2399-374-8668 Or 320-7670 Conditions apply Ho 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 Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876 518 2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, peeps. <laughs> we go straight to uh, the, well, the WhatsApp. WhatsApp a little bit and see what's going on there. A whole lot of things coming up. Coming up. Let's see what Lisa's saying. Um, why would a woman... Okay, we got that one earlier, I believe. Um, you men need to stop about wearing dress that have nothing... To, that have nothing to do with what she wear to go out. Ladies, ladies, please don't wear any dress because these men think with their private alone. Thank you, Lisa. Can I tell you, honey, how I endorse your view? Now, why would I invite a woman out and don't have any money? Oh, boy, shake my head. I agree with the girl. Bright yai, steer in your lane <laughs> until you have money to invite a woman out. <laughs> Let's see who else has a comment for Bright Yeah. No doubt many women are hitting out on him tonight. 
daddy road, you don't hear anything else. Can I tell you, sister? <laughs> I'm only hear what I want to hear. Um, did we get that one before? Um, yes, we got that one earlier. Um, pretty much. Uh, we have more? No? All right, we're going to play another Same Vox song. Oh, she's, he, she was saying, the person, 844 was saying, too bright. See, <laughs> we're so locking off the light and all these things. All right, let's hear more from the Vox Pops, yeah? First impressions can last, but persons who are going to take somebody's first impression to be a judge of them should follow the other saying that says that everybody deserves a second chance because they're going to be it it, it it doesn't work for every occasion because there are some people are some situations that will leave a first impression that you would know from heaven to earth that you don't want a second or a third so it depends on the situation and and if it it's about a personal thing or you know what it is because it could be that I've gone to a business place to do a business and um, the, the customer service wasn't all that great and if I'm the kind of person well why am I leave a, if I'm in the mood I leave a suggestion and I may not shop at that place again right unlike if it's personal no one say I've met somebody and the first impression wasn't a great one and people even sex people use intimacy the first time the couple are gonna have sex then they, they have great expectations of what 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 should happen and then when it don't happen then they say why them go and spread well probably spread rumors say why this never that not giving the person enough chance to say probably anxiety or other things was in place so I wouldn't use it I would say so they say for some stuff you know because some some sometimes things happen and you do need a second chance it does you know some people get nervous when they're going for an interview some people get nervous when they're going to do an exam that's not the, really them and they know the stuff but guess what happened when it comes to have to having to do something face to face they get cold feet and it doesn't happen anymore so no not for me it doesn't last a woman's attire should not be taken as an indication of any intention because if I am going on a date, I'm going to wear what I am comfortable in and I am going to put my best self out there. My best self meaning me. Like if, if I feel like dressing a particular way it makes me comfortable, I'm going to do that. So if a man go see me in a nice um, shorts or dress that catches, that drops just below my my butt and probably the back of it cut out and it, it low cut and, and probably exposing so a li little little um chest <laughs> little cleavage is being exposed and he thinks that that's an indication that when the date is done then we're gonna go somewhere and have sex or something like that then no so it should not be it should not be. We should put the best of us forward. We're going on a date, dress up yourself, look nice, and leave a good impression. That's just about it. And if a man ever thinking bad, use that as an indication for things say, yeah, go propose sex to me and you see what happened. So <laughs> probably that first impression will last there. Um I don't like burping, disgusts me, and I don't think it's biological nothing. It can be dealt with medically, and if you find say you burp and ease your body a lot, you need to do something about it. It disgusts me, it sicks my stomach, sick my stomach. As to who pays the bill on the first date, who, whomever it is that invited the person out should pay the bill. So if the man invite me on a date, me expect him to pay the bill. But if I take him out, me not expect him to pay the bill. I'll pay it. So whomever invites the person out pays the bill. That's my take for this. Well, I'm not sure, but um, a man can I don't think a man should take what the person wear and, 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 and say I'll yeah, get something later. Because if you take up a, a, a dance hall girl or something like that, she got always just um, provoking. So you know, expect say when she go on the date, she got just moderate fire. You understand? So no, I can't take that. No, and that I rape. If you take it and you wanna give you a rape, and also too, boy, me not gonna lie, but me go on date, me not is my body, me not no sir. Mm -mm. I mean, uh, if a man do me that. It depends on how it happened, because if it's a comment, you can't help it where you got to do. 
So I don't know yeah, what you're going to do. You can't turn it back if it really, really want to come. I could have tried to squeeze it till, till that you don't come. It's still like, I come. So I wouldn't like um judge judge a person for that. But maybe 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 it depends on how I'm behave uh, after I'm do it. Then I will know if I should is a keeper or not. Well, I'm not sure, but um, a man can't. I don't think a man should take what the person wear and, 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 and say, I will get something later. Because if you take up a, a, a dance hall girl or something like that, she will always just um, provoking. So, you know, expect say when she will go up on the date, she will go just moderate fire. You understand? So, no, you can't take that. No, and that a rape. If you take it, and want to give you a rape. And also, too, boy, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to go up on It's my body. I'm not, no, sir. Mm-mm. I mean, I, a- All right. <laughs> Listen, Welcome back. Hold on. <laughs> For Shelly information. Mm-hmm. No, no, we never say Shelly in a nothing short, short yet, and your back exposed. So you know, say Shelly, if you wear that, what will happen with you with all of the animals so then we work our styles. Everybody I go feel, say, boy, well, all right, Shelly, they're on a mission. Shelly, I go do something. <laughs> so I'm just making you know in advance, Shelly, <laughs> we never know whether or not the true color of your skin be. We never see it yet. Mm. I've seen right? her. Ungle our face, we no know. No man, no man. We didn't right? clean the year. I've so, seen her sexy up and all these things. So we don't know, Shelly. So Back out and all these things and legs are showing. You stay there. Mm. Yes, man. So what happened that day? The rainfall, thunder roll, and broke no people neck? <laughs> no. Eh? So, in relation to now the other one, we understand with the whole dance all thing, and that is true. However, mm-hmm. what I do not like is the hypocrisy that's happening. Which is? When a woman put on her dress, she has one intention, no. which is to be sexy. Okay. Right? I'm listening. And if you want to feel sexy, it means that you expect to attract. You expect, you smell good for a reason. You You expect For to, you. you expect, that makes you feel good within yourself. You, you expect to lure. No. Right? No. When me when when me no. have a, when, when me when me comes a bomb so I take up my cologne and decide say other one I may wear. Me I wear that one with an intention come you know the effect wait No. Right? We so, don't think like you do. So we when, don't. when when when, 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 anyway. when when you put on your clothes and you're going on a date. We going on a, we're going out on a dinner now. We're going out on a dinner. I'm going to spend some money on you. I am allergic to shellfish, but woman, you can have all the lobster and shrimp you want. <laughs> I'm even willing to kiss you, although it don't make me nauseous. Mm-mm. I'm my bad to mock you, not going to run nothing. We need to know from inception what you're up to afterwards. So you decide where to that, go with the woman. You hear that, ladies? That would tell me what kind of level of spending I'm going to dip on. Oh my God. Right? Oh and which part God. of the menu you can look upon. Right? The ladies, it's going to be so, spending based on if you're giving up the nookie. Imagine that. It all depends. On Imagine what, that. It, it all depends. Because you can't come wear certain and certain. Hey, Cassidy, you have some woman where, 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 where we all go, we call it now, free flow, you know. They don't have on nothing under there, you know. Because yeah. once you see what she have on, you will, you, you, you know, see no string yes, so, and then can't tell me about seamless or whatever. It's seamless. You, you know, see no string yes, so, Cassidy, and none down there. So, because even the seamless one, you can't see like something if you know the thing. What do you mean with your bandit right? eyes? Jesus. No, when you look and you know, say, boy, she not have on, she free flow. You can't tell me say she not up to something. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so clear, man. Mm-mm. You never got free flow yet. Mm-hmm. All right, you never up to nothing. Mm-mm. Just so, so, so. Mm-hmm. Just to fly a pitch panny. Just to breeze blow to it. Just to fly a pitch panny. Just to breeze blow. Just to fly a pitch panny. Find a pitch panny, a breeze a blow. <laughs> a nice cool breeze. You know, sit down. <laughs> just sit down one way, and the breeze is cool and nice. What the nicest feeling that man? Nicest thing. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Wear on the jeans. <laughs> Wear on a jeans if not not for go on. Once me see the jeans cast me in no Tell say. Me, is there right? any more and as me say if a me, if a hipster we no say boy jeans. she have a little intent, she tease me with little you see little split at the top of the bottom oh, right no, up. No, the no, no. Who right? Wants to see that? Well I know when she get up, right? You know see you you you, you know see no Andy. You have an idea, say boy, maybe she have on a low rise. Pan the low rise. <laughs> 
Okay, so you know? it's and and then now she knows her lower eyes and wear one and wear one of them short blouses. She could have chosen a long blouse of her ID number. She know what she had though. Oh my goodness! Right? Are you serious? And then she sit down. She poise away when she sit down forward and arch her back. Oh good, ladies. You know what I mean, Cassie? Ladies. And you tell me say. Seriously. And you tell me say you know wear that. With an, I just for me spend money. I think these men I just for me are, spend money. Oh my God. Look Over the, the top. Look at them. Let me try and you not run nothing. Fine. <laughs> but you can't tell me so you never have an intention for me to try. No. Because them say man, can't say, say boy, you're a board man. I'm a board man of the boy. You. <laughs> you never talk to a board man yet. Talk it through. No. No. Every man is up front and blunt, sir. Board? Yeah. Board never sound good. You don't know a board man? Mm. Yeah, Tony, man. People, it's so the writing, writing <laughs> and explain to her. When we say board, man. Because I can't believe somebody attack and clearly know where me attack about. You can't even pick them in a class and teach a teacher. They never, I never raise it and I say, Miss, <laughs> Miss, Miss. And then when they hurt me, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, my money, my spending rests with how the return and investment I go go. Mm. Simple as that. If there's no return and investment, there shall be no investment. Because mm, that's right there, so just as she may put it under the kaya bed and see what happen feet. Make it run and make it money rotten right, right there, so. Because if you're not up on the kaya bed, no, sir. No, nah, run. No money. Mm -mm. No honey, no money. Oh, God, you sound like Colin Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Carla says. Uh, my boss brother just sit in the office and fart. Actually, every day, yeah. I never apologize. None at all. I hate it so badly. Why? That road, that's what your first day did to you. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Let's um, see who else is there. Stay with your money, Lisa. That's right, Lisa. I'm keeping money. You don't need that. We got our own. <laughs> got our own. Daddy Road. If I put on a sexy dress and tell you I ain't got no underwear on, then you better make sure you're well strapping up. Ah, hey. Can I tell you, Nikki? Let me tell you something, my girl. <laughs> Just by you writing that my meds <laughs> mash up. So you can't stay there. So that alone, if there's a name, name, name about that tell me nothing. Just Lisa. dead there. And what one fly and pitch pony make him enjoy himself. Don't tell me nothing. My mate, just read, read it alone and think about it. My oh head gone. God. That's how easily their heads go, sister. Tempted to touch. I mean, I fight no temptation. Lisa, so you lick your head. Well, we're going to go and see what the other part of the Vox Pop says quite quickly because we, we've been on a part of it for such a while. Um, <laughs> the Vox Pop. And this part is something else. Some things are biologically un unavoidable. But what's your view on someone that burps or eases the body in public? Okay, for me personally, I know it's a natural thing to the do. A woman can burp but don't poop. It's a natural thing to do. And I if tell it her up is, front, straight up, don't if it, do it. <laughs> don't if it do is it. that you have to burp, because some people when they eat certain foods, they will naturally burp. As you said, yes. it's biologically natural. Yes. Yeah? Is that's just all your physiologic physiological makeup is. Now, it's quite okay to if you have to burp. And you say, excuse me, but if you know that the burping is of such that it's really going to be distasteful in terms of how the person eating will feel, excuse yourself and go to the restroom and burp and poo all you want. I don't think I want to be at a table with a man having a date, on a date, having dinner, lunch, whatever. And every second I hear, no. Ladies are good at holding that thing in. We won't let it out at no restaurant, at no table. Worse if it loud. You're going <laughs> to sit on a chair and you're going to squeeze that thing. <laughs> it has to come out. It's natural. But there, there are skills and ways of doing it, tactics to doing it. Women know how to get those things out in a tactful kind of way. Men, you're going to have to learn. At the table, while eating, you can't be just... Pooing and burping and carrying on loud as no, ever. Do no, we're not doing them. We're not doing them thing. We're not doing them thing. We're at table. Really? No. No the one. Women are the ones who will no. be in pain and they're like. No one to go out. Uncomfortable to man, squeeze no, no, it. No man, no man do that. Men do. No, men no, no do. One, no one to go out. You hear some men some burping and you have to wonder if they're all right. Well, I'm said the burp part fine, but yeah, yeah, make look like some boy when man go out with us go. No, I didn't say that. Go, 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 I did go, 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 not go, go, say that. Poop, I'm poop, just poop, saying. Poop, poop, all over the place. Yeah, some men even at the bars, 
When I drink you, you're like, bruh, bruh. Then lick on a rest for your chest, man. No, man. Guy, you have to find some tea, man. You do a, you do a bar, then. <laughs> Get some tea, star. You do a bar. You're not ready for bar, man. Bar is oh. not your thing. Listen, I don't know. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that it's just at that particular location, it's not appropriate. As a matter of fact, even if you had drive, say wind down the window. Because they will squeeze it off for you, Cassidy. Stop and get out and go poo, man. They will squeeze it off for you. I mean, can't tell you, Stop and get out and go me poo. Have, me have an experience. And if I'm a girlfriend or nothing, right? Me I drive it with a lady one time. Nice, beautiful lady. Sweet looking lady, right? And me can't tell you. <laughs> it belly bad. <laughs> Cass, believe you me. The belly bad, the belly bad. And me can't tell you, St. Thomas people, where me did I go? Right, me reach out in a white horse is there, so and I go up a crying all at a development the car lady said boy she wanna look on the lap them cause she do want to buy one lot up there. And I said, alright, me know how we told me work, but me can you go there. And when the thing squeeze off cast, me actually me, me did I wonder if I did one time. You, you, you know when the when the sea maras thing come up on the, pa, 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 pa the sea? Through the whole of them area there, mm -hmm. I I hold it on the seaside. Me I wonder if I that when they call it seaweed. <laughs> See? But then, so I wind me. You see me the wind down. Me wouldn't feel so bad. I mean, so what? Well, what man. See, but it's just been kind of lean one side, you know. It is out, right? But me think that it was like a little pose. Cause I mean, an automatic me drive where you can lean and have a little armrest or so, a standard. But in lean to the left and rest your elbow, mm -hmm. pan the, 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 the door one. It's out. And I saw me a pick up say, boy, that was the, the motion lean. <clears throat> Sorry. But all the officer to me say, boy, wind down. And sweet, sweet girl. Now she, right away. But sweet or not, everybody poo? Well, yes, but she right away. It look expensive too, you know. <laughs> me not carry him out. Because <laughs> one, me know, if I see him, he need to give me nothing. And two, <laughs> that's when me get right off this so. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> that when me get right off this so. Right? Me know, say, he have bad belly. If I give him the one day, he just salt. And I mean my power with the wrong somebody my power with. <laughs> but you know right? that, that methane gas is a combination of some of the different foods that you eat and with the chemical break when they break down. Them said the healthy waste. for inhale. Oh my god. Why you have to say that? That's what I, I play. It is Re said. You remember Cassidy? We it, play it is it here. said. It is said that and when your woman, body is women good. own them say women own naturally smell worse than men's. Really? Yes. I've heard that before too. And you not believe me? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> it is said that um, when the methane gas that comes from your body, that's what it's called, you know, methane. Or some people say methane. But when that gas comes out, some people say, it's argued that if it smells bad, you're healthy, you're strong, and good things inside of you. You know that they say? Hmm. You know, true that So, so you're healthy? Very healthy, my you. Very healthy. <laughs> 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 your belly bad, Claire. Your belly bad. <laughs> your belly bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, but. The um, last part of it, of the, of the Vox part? Yeah. In a minute. Cassidy? Hmm. Does it matter who pays the bill? Definitely. For me, first date, brother, you better pay. Mm. You need to pay. Mm. Simple. Mm. Mm. Argument done. Full stop. Come on. Um, Full stop. But do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disagree with you with that one, right? It, it matters. Yes, it does. But Shelly said the writing, if uh, the guy invite the girl, then he should pay. If uh, she invite him, then mm. she should pay. But in, in my opinion, him for make an effort to pay. Mm. Right? Him not for just go there. Or even if uh, she go pay for the food, when I go drink some something, you have her a drink. And these are the things now when men jump up and say, oh, from way back when, we are the leaders and we are allowed to have, like the animals, we are allowed to have several women and... Oh, the, that reach you. Well, I'm just making a point. Hold on a man. I'm <sighs> saying you jump to run to that as leaders then, in cases like those where you're oh, the head. Man. Let me finish. Uh, you're the head. But when it comes on yes. to... Carrying oh, a woman on a in. date, like Bright Eye, who wants the woman to carry her money. No, that's not that, him being a leader right there. No, that was, no, charge. no, no, that was circumstantial. That, that was circumstantial. The car need that for fix. That will not hold up in court. The, the car need for fix. 
That's his circumstantial. Yeah. He, he, he me invited her out and was willing for um for him no one for disappoint her. No, 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 no. Him disappoint her bad, bad, bad already. <laughs> Let me try to tell you. By asking her to pay, that was serious disappointment. Oh, Lord of mercy. So it is a case where I want the men to not only view having many women in, 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 in the sense where, oh, they are alpha male and they're allowed to do this. But I want men to see that when it comes to certain things like these. Yeah. Yeah. You must take charge, same way too. And be the man. Step out and be the man. I'm going to your pocket, take out your money, and pay for your date or your kind of lady pun. And don't expect her to pay half well, or a quarter a or whatever for All right, you. All right, fine, but fine, Rita. fine, fine. Cassidy, yes, we're going to pay the bill, but does it matter how much you Hey. Does it matter? Uh, you, you look it matters at, right. how much him eat. The no. average woman don't eat as much as no. the men. It matter how much when a yam. man is going to eat like a farmer horse. No. And yam down the place. He might pay the bill. He can't eat what he wants. Where the honest is paying the bill. No. He might pay the bill. He can eat All right, what he so wants to eat. But she can't come yam down the place just so. so. Let, let's pause. Let us say it's not a case where it, it's also at a restaurant. It's at home. Mm. And the woman invites the man for dinner. Mm. And the man comes and just keeps eating, eating, eating. They want more food, more food, more food. That should not be a turn off? Well, it, 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 it kind of sounds a way, but if the food never provided, all, all the man get to eat. But what if he... Come on, man. If, you get your dinner. If you don't cook, if you don't cook, the dinner, if, if, you you know, if, if you don't cook the food for me, for me, how me get? Oh, 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 eat. A TV, TV right under your nose. No, but 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 what I'm saying is, if you get your dinner, you get the food that you came for. You have a meal, and the woman would, would be smart enough to give a man a sensible amount of food because you know the well, average meal is more say, than a well, meal. A female or a fair yard. Fair yard man. So she invites my yard. Yes, for right? dinner. Is this the first so he's not invite? Paying, the first invite. He's yeah. not getting any. He's not paying anything now. Right. He's just there for dinner. Yes. But him just eat how him see for eat. How him not get, get, get it for eat. Him just eat. That means that she can cook good. She must eat as a compliment. And compliment? Him. Of course. Compliment? If your food never tastes good. Glutinous, gravelicious, no. crave man. No. I would not want to go on a second date with him. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. No, but I can't date in your yard, me there. You invite me out for you have some food. You probably have uh, some food there, some things we, 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 we have to cook for a long time. Are you going to go, go into no. the cookbook, go learn how to cook? I mean, I'm sitting there. So, so is it okay then? Are you saying it's okay after she's given him his oh, food? Hold on, hold on, question. In slim like me? <laughs> I don't know. If he's slim like me, I need nothing. Something wrong. Something wrong. <laughs> Something wrong. In cream. <laughs> In cream. But, but if it is that but, he gets dinner already and he's uh, uh, has asked some more, gotten some more, but then still decides that he needs to go again and take something some more additionally. It, something wrong with that? No. In gluttonous. Let me answer this. And girl, right? you ain't gonna be able to when, feed him. When a when, when when a man when when a man do certain things, right? And uno say uno one round one, round two, round three, round four. And all we are pass out. Uno say I request more, 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 more. And when we say we can't do it, we say bow we. It's a different thing, man. No, man. You know, say we walk list. Different star. No. This so food. You must the, have the, a limit the, when the, you the, stop. Then the, 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 what I'm getting at, you know, the man burnt out because of a woman who wanted him to recoup. Him to put who in more energy. Who burnt you out? This is my first date, dude. Who no, burnt you out? No, no, run. No. And a fair yard. Fair yard. She gave him the food. He wanted a little bit more. He got more, but then... He man near my route because he realized that nothing was going on. He got and left, brother. Oh, my. that's exactly what he's doing for real. He got more and left. So, him being gluttonous, he was just what he can achieve. And cut. So, ladies, he be it. weary of those men who just come to your house and just nyam, 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 all of them sinners. They just want nyam, 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 nyam. Food we are talking about. Of course. Oh. <laughs> if you want to eat anything else, that's a whole different story. No. <laughs> but, I mean... Just eating away like crazy. You, you, you see the food. It wasn't given to you, but then you, you decide to just be eating away like crazy. No. I don't need a man that's around at all. And I don't know if the men would like a woman like that. We're going to go in and pat. And just like, eat, 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 a go answer. So. Call her on the 453. May I make sure it's a when he comes there. And he look on the pot. Is it a while he could pat? <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> 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 
tell me something. Would you go on a second date with a man who comes to your house and decides to just <laughs> eat on the place? Him get the food already and him want more and still behind your back, him going back in your pot again. Sometimes it's all for you too. Yes. Mm. Would you go back out with him again? No, no. You turn him, turn, it's a turn off? Me not eat, me not, if you eat too much, me not want a man to eat too much food. Why? But he's going to grow healthy and strong. Sometimes too strong. <laughs> 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 so that's a turn off for you, right? Yes, yes. Me don't like the man to eat too much food. And sometimes when they eat too much food, they're lazy. Yes, yes. Yes, lazy for you. And pack on the weight and the big belly and all these things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I like my man as about two round, three round. Mm-hmm. Sometimes as we done heating, start drafts in one. Okay. Nigga, write this. <laughs> 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 All right, darling. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's now 11.30, guys. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest, present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour, Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. So for a woman's attire, yes, it can be because you you have ladies who they basically into you or send a message indirectly to you telling you what they may want and may not want. So yes, if I dress a certain way and if I'm exposing certain 
parts of my body that can tell you that I am interested in you not only as a friend but sexually and that can basically determine what may happen later on after a date. For someone who burps and eases their body in public, um, especially on a date, I don't see anything wrong. Me, personally speaking, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yes, you may have certain um, we have a certain way when you're in public but if you burp that is natural basically if you ease your body that is natural that is a natural form of action in which everybody does right is the way in which you do it it's not what you do but the way in which you do it so if i burp in public i don't say if even if i'm on a date i don't see anything wrong with that right it's all you do it at the end of the day and if you ease your body and you you burp around a person in which you're dating or whichever that tells you that you're comfortable with that person and that is a good sign so i personally don't see anything wrong with it is is oh if you do it now vulgar way no then that would be a problem but i don't see anything wrong on the first date right it all depends on the situation so sometimes you have we're all human beings, so sometimes me have a boy me like a girl until the girl out on a date, however, is not financially stable, so he may need little assistance from the girl to stand the bill, right? That is different. But if it's a case in which you know that the guy is financially stable or whatever, it's a different situation. I don't think that the females obligated to pay or, or contribute towards the bill. The, the female is not obligated because at the end of the day is the male invited out for female. Well, I don't think a woman's attire on a date should be taken as an indication of her intentions after the outings. Whatever a woman wear on a date is how comfortable she feels is what she has in her closet. It's not like somebody is going to go out of their way to get outfit because someone invited them out on a date or whatever the situation is. You wear what you feel comfortable wearing and persons buy clothes that they like. You understand? So I don't think that should be taken as any intention, indication of intentions. And um, we are burping or easing the body in public is concerned. It is very disrespectful and a big turned off for me. If you burp, because you, you don't always know when the burp is coming. So if you burp and it must come out loud, once you say excuse right after the burp, I don't have a problem with it. But if I have to wait for the excuse to come, or if you have to see an impression on my face to know that you're supposed to say excuse, me no bother want it. That is so disgusting. And it's not every time when somebody eats the body, they know it's going to smell. So if you eat the body one time and you realize it smell, if you need to eat the body again, you excuse yourself, but then you keep on doing it, doing it, doing it. Oh my God, that is really, really disrespectful. And of course, it does matter who pays the bill on the first date. The man should pay the bill on the first date. Exactly so. So, so there's no no thinking about that or no two way about that, unless oh uh-huh, unless the woman really meet the man and ask the man out on a date, then she asks him out on a date and that don't normally happen. But if the man asks the woman out on a date, he should be responsible for paying the bill. Point blank. Well, for me, only a pervert or some horrible would really look at a woman's clothes her clothing that she wears on, on her date, right? And say, so, well, um, you know, that that's an invitation for me to take it off. Oh, please. Like me now, me kind of a bit of boobs. Now, whatever my wear, sure, I got up my breast, I got up my breast, right? So if a cleavage show, or my breast kind of shape out in the dress, that mean my wife will take off my clothes? Hmm? No. And um, for the burping and the pooping, if I can say, <laughs> well, it's not it's natural for somebody to burp after they eat. But no, they load something you can't do and it's too something. And if you want to eat somebody, you can ask excuse. Come in and want to eat and, they, and I smell something stinking. I don't say where your body come from. And for the latter part, you ask me what on a date. Why should I pay? I have to get this money in my pocket still. I'm a bag, purse, whatever. Just in case something goes wrong. But why should I pay? You ask me out. That means you're treating me, don't it? Real talk. Oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
we have come, of course, to the very end of the Vox Pop for tonight. A very, very interesting one. Thanks to all the people who participated. We go straight into our letter because we have a few minutes to wrap this one up before we get out of here. All right, so here we go with tonight's letter. Dear Real Talk. I am in my mid-twenties and got a daughter in my late teens. I kind of grew up sheltered and only knew about certain things from what my friends were saying they did. My present boyfriend isn't my baby's father or my baby father. And while he doesn't have much, much, he treats my daughter like his own. He has trouble keeping a job as he is a bit stiff-headed. So oftentimes he gets into an argument with his bosses. I have a reasonably good job to take care of me and my daughter comfortably, com comfortably, but it can be a strain when my boyfriend is around. A few months ago, I met a man that's showing keen interest in me, my daughter, and my future. He talks about family, education, business, etc. I've never cheated before and made it clear that I have no interest in having two partners. One day, my male, my male friend told me that he could hook my boyfriend up with a job and i turned it down because i think my boyfriend would be embarrassed of me or would embarrass me rather my daughter likes both of them but i'm not sure of what to do um it's really tempting to leave my boyfriend what are your advices or what is your advice hmm wow <laughs> no um, certain things, a few things. For one, I'm not one to say, jump up and just leave your man or mm. your woman. Yeah? Mm. But, there's a big but. <laughs> if it is that the person, on the basis that they do not wish to find work, so, so one, they're not working, but that comes with condition because it could be a case where I'm not working because I can't work at the moment, yeah? I'm not going to tell you to leave the man. I'm going to make you ask you to hold it down for him because when things are up, in the dead of video. So something go around and can't work, that's different. But if this is a strong, healthy man who yesterday him now push out no effort really and truly for go find work, some gainful employment for assist you, and if you let go that... Plain and simple. It's a pull down, hold down thing. Yeah? You are there trying to work and make the ends they meet up. The stress comes in when this man comes in and is, <laughs> is, is now not even assisting you. Boy. But a more pull from where you have and a destroy where you destroy you basically. Dragging your dung in the gutter with him. Hmm. We we gotta do this all. How progressive is that? Wow. Now, if it is, as I said. And let me explicitly state that. If it is that the man not working because of circumstances beyond his control, if I try to look work but not now come true, you have ambition for your work and not now come true yet, I'm going to ask you, stay with your man. Hmm. One, tough it out with your man and help him look work. Yes? So one, suck the salt with a wooden spoon because things will get better. And you're going to have the hopes that it's going to get better. Hope. Yeah. Hope and pray. But, but I'm thinking, too, that the average person who really looking assiduously and, 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 and tirelessly looking, eventually will come up with something, man, or start one, one of a business or something. But for the stone, they live off of the woman, and yeah, wear big, nice clocks and all these things, and, <laughs> and cut off with jeans and the, the latest brands, and you live off of the little civil servant money. No, no, no. It can't work. Run the boy, my girl. If so that is the condition. Oh, no one live off a no, fluid. Hold on, servant, hold on. If a man is going to take up a lady or a young girl who no oh, have no interest. Switch, no, no, no. no keep, but it's true. Keep, keep it up real for your talk. Real talk, me, I make. If she not go, um, help you for, for grow and progress and to become something and can save here and save there, we had to do with her. She only, she only dear for her. You know what? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, but when I run the money, punch, she would just deal with the you. So you have the for? Do you know what? Oh, please. Oh, please. So, girlfriend, it's up to you to decide and to weigh what are the circumstances surrounding him not working. Yes, it's strenuous on you. No, but she tell you why not work. Really, no? Yeah. 
She tell why not work? Him now no, him attitude problem. Yes. And he can't keep no job because him face with him boss and all these things. Yes. So, him have him have issues. Yes. So like him can't work, but he not keep no job. He can't keep no well, work. Well, him need to understand him need to change him attitude because your attitude determines your altitude. Mm hmm. And unless him change him ways, nobody not will employ him because employers these days looking for people with good attitude as opposed to skill and expertise. Yeah. Yeah. If you have those two, but if you if you have a rock attitude, them not going to keep you on the job. So even if he understand himself and go down, go, you know, go do something else where he can get the boisterous or loud or, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. But if that's the circumstance where I'm not working, I'm not ready. I'm not so, going to teach where you would say. So I'm in, not ready. In that case. In, in a case like that then, with the other man where he might talk fair language, family, education, business. Mm. <laughs> going to your lane, my girl. Going to your lane. Is it going to your lane? What do you mean? Go back in her lane. Maybe she come to her lane. No, what do you mean? I don't understand. She if, if go to the new man. I didn't say that, my girl. No, so that I try to get out. What do you mean? If it is that where she wants to go, is the other lane where she must go? Sit around and, and crash? No, man. I don't want to talk. You know, no problem, man. I don't want to talk straight away. The She's a progressive young woman yes. who speaks about future goals and education yeah. and family oriented and structured and business ideas that's the lane she should be in right now she's not in that lane okay so i'm saying she needs to get in line with our with our goals with our goals align so, our goals with where she is in life so you talk so what about the um Hold on, caller on call. the four five three. Good night, caller. Yes, good night. Yes, ma'am. Um, the letter that you just read. Mm -hmm. I, the guy needs to grow up, and he needs to change his attitude. Mm -hmm. Um, but she hasn't said anything else about him. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and she said that he um he likes her daughter. They have a good relationship. Daughter and like him. Other, yeah, with the other man now. I won't tell her what to do. She has to be very careful. Yes. Feel him out. You know, men like to impress us. And True. They, they will say all. And tell lie. <laughs> right to impress us. <laughs> so what she should do, take time to feel, um, feel him out. And if, if the guy, if, if that's the only problem she has with that guy, maybe she needs to sit and talk with him. Discuss certain things with him and say, maybe, well, Ari, you know, you're a good person, but uh, you need to change your attitude so you can keep your job because moving from one job to the next, then you are going to need a recommendation. And yeah. if, that, if, if that's the attitude, what kind of recommendation you are going to get? So if that's our only problem, maybe, that, maybe they can work it out. Eh? Enough if, boss, the boy got through. But, but she seems to be uh, um, a go-getter person. Which one? The, the young lady. Oh, yes, man. Yes, man. She seems to know what she wants. And when you, are, when you are with a man who doesn't know what he wants and you know what you want, it, it, it causes frustration. You might feel demotivated. Indeed. You, you, you end up becoming like stagnant water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, yes. because you want to move and he doesn't want to move. So maybe in the end, I don't know what can happen, but I will not tell her what to do because she's in it and she knows it best. Yes. She can only give her advice. All right. And then giving her advice, then she'll come to her decision. All right, darling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, Nikki says she must stick to the evil that she know. All right, but all right. What about the part in that way? The, the 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 new man then the man were interested in her said boy should I help her should I get a job on clear cut work um for the boyfriend and she turned it down you think of the right thing that she do no she turned it down because she think her man her boyfriend are gonna embarrass her which suggests to me mm -hmm. that she's that ashamed of him <laughs> she, it 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 <laughs> suggest let me hear what it suggests to you it suggests to me that she has been trying to work with him and talk to him of course she has been. Right? Because if she know 
she reach a point where she thinks a boy him a go embarrass her. Embarrass her because you do something stupid or this the boss or something. And, and but, but 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 let me ask, is it that is is it selfish of her not for take the link? Yes, I think so, to an extent, yeah. I can understand she being fearful of him embarrassing her because she knows his history and his history precedes him. Mm. I get that. At the same time, how about giving him one last straw, one last long length of rope to kill him to hang himself? But again, no, me, me ask the question I'm playing the UL's advocate. Mm. Is it that she's thinking about the other man and she don't want her man shame her because, because this other man now out for do something for help her, or is it that's the boy she look at it and say, you know what, um, it, it, the, the type of compromise where she will compromise right now. Mm-hmm. She don't want to take that she, chance. She, she, she want to keep the money yeah, to her. You, you understand? Mm-hmm. I get your point. Cause, cause it, it, it's something wrong then if you know, say, a man will look you, and the man will look you, after your work, for your man. Mm-mm. He's looking out for her best interest because clearly, He's seen where she needs, she likes, really loves this man, probably. Mm. And me like her still, yes, and want to go certain way, probably without thinking about certain things with her. But guess what? I'm going to try to help her see him. He's a genuine man that I like him. Yeah, call her on the 453. Yes, um, getting a job for him. Suppose he eventually finds out that he likes her. Hmm. How will he react? Sure. I'm thinking about that. But um, how, how sure is, um, is she that the man really wants to give him the job? And what are his, what you would say? His no? motives? What are, what the right, that what are his motives? True. Because suppose... You have, it, think, so, you have to think along that line. Because what, 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 men are, what if... Men are very smart too, you know, when they want to get at you, they will do everything. Anything. Anything and everything, sister. Right, so you, you have to be thinking, too. Yes. You have to be smart, street smart. You have to be thinking for a man. No, but let me oh. ask a question, though. Yes? Um, how would the boyfriend feel if, if he find out now, say, a job, a job opportunity, not knowing what, say, the other man check for him, woman? A job opportunity came, and she turned it down. She never tell him about it. Mm-mm. That all looks suspicious. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. It depends. Maybe I don't know if he'll feel less than a man. Because men have their dignity in them too, you know. True. But then yeah. again, now, how he more feel when he find out, or if he find out, say, the man will get him the work. Is a man will look at a man. And now go break loose. That's all I say. You say all hell breaks loose. <laughs> So he, he says to be very careful. Although she said she didn't, she didn't tell him about it. I don't think she was selfish. Maybe she's thinking, oh, I am thinking too. Yeah. What? Well, let me ask though. This man, I look like one of the man we are called Niamo, Niamo or Ali Kapat. Cause she a complain. Oh, the man a burden. She can't afford. Niamo. She and her daughter, but she can't afford him when he come cross. But no. <laughs> One work, one, one work, I come where the man can get the work. Is, what what, what is she it? really protecting? Her new interest. Quite likely, it seems like when he is working, he treats her well. Well, possibly, but at, at this present state, because she is saying it is tempting to leave her boyfriend. Yes, because the pasta there looks greener. But <laughs> you don't know how green it is because, as I said, knowing men want, when men want to get at you, they, 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 they tell us so many things to impress you mm. until when they really find out who they really are. Yes. That's what I'm saying. She has to be very careful of what she chooses. Real talk. I think she needs to know him a, a little longer, uh, maybe better. So, let me ask you then. a man that wants to be a part of her life. Or, or do you think she should waive, waive our criteria, waive our own um, standard, and just give the man born and done, and, find out, and figure out where... <laughs> uh, <laughs> and see where this man will go with it. <laughs> the old thing still nowadays, why the burning thing rough? 
Because <laughs> men, men, men have their temper, temperament too. Mm -hmm. And men have feelings too. And we don't know how in depth where she was when, when, when they met, what he did for her when they met. So it, it's hard to decide. But, but, but remember, no, you know, because she reached at one place, you know, because there's a part in it where me very, 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 very kind of suspicious about. Oh, your yes. picnic come for you like the other man too. They're spending time together. <laughs> Something not straight there. All right. <laughs> Time spent together, my dear. Yes, so yes, something not straight there. So just be very careful. All right, be very careful. Yes. Thank you, Mama. She has, to make her, she has to make her decision. Real talk. All right, yes. thanks. Okay, you're welcome. All right, Listen, boy, me, me, that, 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 that story is nice, but, 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 but something... How, because straight up, I mean, you're, you, why would you allow your child to become fond? Fond of somebody who is of, just an, an acquaintance. A, an acquaintance. Yeah. Right? Because right away it means uh, they have been in contact, they have been um, dating, and in my opinion, it's obvious that a new man has come at the yard. <laughs> <laughs> it obviously him a come at the yard because and, and, unless oh. for some reason every time they link up go on, your daughter did it with you out on the out on the be out of road. Chances are right, and it reach a point now where she has said, "Boy, listen to me, um, me, me now got me, me, me now got cheat for my man because me now no interest in have two partner that she has said." Mm -hmm. Now, when she said that, it means say uh, it reach a level where. Contemplation is there, but the only thing we all are now is the standard. Mm -hmm. But your pitney don't like the two man them. So your pitney have two man. Who step daddy? Hi, good night, sir, ma'am. <laughs> that's where our that's where sometimes mothers go wrong. Never let your child know certain secret about your life. Real because thing. Because in the end, trust. And children live what they learn, especially a little girl. Mm -hmm. So she needs to know what standard she should set in her life. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so she has to be very careful of that. Never let a child know certain things about you. In your little mind, they may be thinking, I don't know how old the child is, but she has to be very careful there. Yep. Hey, because right now, no. The pity that we all go talk for what I go on. You know. <laughs> Cause she don't know she don't know what I go on. Uncle Ronnie. Yeah, Uncle Ronnie. Un Uncle uh, um um Bob. Uncle Ronnie was over <laughs> and you never leave till this morning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cause sometimes children don't know when to talk. Oh boy. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, God, I hope things will work out for her the best way. True. Yes, and, and she does know. She's, she's still young, and as she said first, she, she was not very exposed. And she, she's still young. Definitely. Yes. And right. she doesn't seem like the kind of person who usually run around. So no. maybe that's why she doesn't know how to deal with the situation. So... Let's not make certain judgments because we don't know if she's seen him and if he comes to her home. Hmm. Right. All right, Mama. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. All right, we see the text line here. Nikki Wan says she a robot up who smote. Oh, my God. But um, And um, 856 says... No man want to know. Say, so emit it. Let's see what that says, Cassidy. Find, um, get five. what game? Five, yes, that top one there. Seek a job for him. No man, no one was a mate to seek a job for him. No way. <laughs> no for which I'm here. Because when I think, you know, we don't know if I style a man, I got style him, you know. True, true. At that job. Eh? He can meet, mean good, but at the same time, we don't know if I got style him. Right? And yeah. can you imagine? I cannot be him being impressive but, to the girl. Exactly, for a boy, you know. He me, look a job from a guy, he's so kind. He, At the aye. same time, as you said, he could very well be styling him on behind the closed doors otherwise. Otherwise. Now, can you imagine him get the work for him 
and then now the woman got left him save up on top of that. Oh my we, we God, we, we, hey, No, we have to fire the boy. No, sir. We have to fire him. No, 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 no. Because I don't need you to no impress, impress, impress business again. I <laughs> have to fire you. I tell you straight up, road boy. Right? You get the girl, you can fire you now. Yes. And oh you know, the, all of that, the, all of the, the work done. You're mad. I have a guy in the yard, bright. And he's worse than going to face it too. I think that's why she didn't take the job for him, though. I don't think it's because she didn't want to embarrass, him, embarrass her so much. I think it's because she's she a protector, protecting. Protect, she's protecting the other guy. Yeah. The, the other guy? Yeah, she protected her. Or she the, protect her man. Who she no, protect? No, no, she's not protecting no man. Uh-uh. She's not protecting her man. If she was protecting him, I think she'd have done otherwise. The fact that she couldn't say, me not tell him about the job. She's trying to say, I don't, even though, even though this man, mm. this man, and probably to an extent, yeah, come to think of it. Maybe she's saying she don't want to lose him. To be honest, yeah. and chances are I get the job, I'm gonna find out how close me and this other person is, and probably but, I'll discover say I am the job. But she are complain say she can't afford him. He man need more food. He man need two, three she times, really four times. She don't really want to listen to either. She don't really want to listen to the work good. But being that your daughter have an attraction for the two man them, because you, you know what I feel like really and truly. We have to figure out how we are going to help her left her man. Because if she not an experience, right? <laughs> she needs to know how to left her man. She needs to know what she want first of all. Because she seems to want the two men them. Well, she can't. She, 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 can't uh, her, 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 her standard. No, she, me not, me not. we have, to help, her, we have to help her left the man. How she all left the man? What she can do for left the man? Tell him, listen. If she's going to leave him, mm. if she chooses to leave him, this is not working out. I am stressed. I'm under pressure. You're not able to assist me. You're more taking from me. And it's a burdensome to me. You so mad? this is not going to work out. You mad? So go on your ways. I'm going to go my ways. You mad? <laughs> you don't know. You mad? Well, we can't accept the truth. It is Look what here. it is. It can't work. Listen to me. Listen to me. There, there are two things what she can do. She have to set him up. She have to set him up. Hmm. Set him up for him to do something and you catch him. OMG. You can't talk them way they go make the man feel like we're gonna tell the man about the boy in a workout and the man go feel worthless. You have to set him up. You have to find some friend. We're willing, our smarty, we're willing. Right? If you play with him one way, text him and message him and make him feel like there's something go on. And then you lure him on place and then as if you go on so you walk in upon <laughs> him. <laughs> some way, some oh, you have to do something. You can't go tell him man that. Good night, Carla. Yeah. <laughs> you did that thing for me, I think but <laughs> me that set him up. <laughs> That's one girl go game. Yeah, you have to do him that. We clear yeah. talk about now. We clear talk about a kill business that. <laughs> that Nikki tell me. Nikki say it too. <laughs> you yeah, clear that. If no one left him, if no one left him, I no one left. Me up to one girl go the yard and just say, "Boy, me soon coming on." I tell the girl what the girl to do, and then me just walk in and catch them. And he not have no excuse that so. No, I've none. Me have set him up too. Oh boy. All right, put us. Where you call from? You guys are yeah. evil. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> listen. Oh boy. Clear, it can't work then the way the way. way. Listen. The easiest way to get rid of somebody, right? Is to avoid them. Is to fix the game. <laughs> you have to fix it. Right? More time, remember me telling you, more time you have to make a woman left you in a case The other one, no, in a fit him case, and we in a fit. Like, obviously, she don't want the man. Mm-hmm. She don't want him again. Sitting sweet over there. So, I should go along over there and he uh, go much if I saw you go. I saw you go. Because if this boy can't keep work, forever, ever, he's going to be out of your part. Exactly. And not bring you nothing. And not bring nothing. So, you have to get rid of him. <laughs> you have to, exp- you know, explore. Run some risk and all of them something there. Yep. You have to just do that. So, you have to go, we, we don't tell you what to do already. You have to go left a man. And then now, after you left a man, you move on to this other man. Because I look like I just clear one, clear system and purge. Because I mean, no say, if you left a man today, I take up the next man tomorrow. We're not fool to this. You, you, you just want to maintain your standard. Right? I just saw you go. One last call for the night. Good night, caller. 
The boy should jump out of frying pan and jump in a fire. In the take a burn. chance you're going to have to take, eh? In the, in the, in the chef just take a burning. But, me knew the set up a man that way there. Eh? Oh, you would have do it? it, it it's best for her to talk it over with him. Give him an ultimatum. Well, say, Harry, you know, um, financially, it's become a little burdensome on me. I have a child to take care of. And you need to change your attitude and try to get a job and stay on the job. Me and me give him that ultimatum. And, well, if he, if he doesn't change, then you come to a decision. Well, me like that, me like that way that, that way that sound like the proper but way. Nah, set up no man. Cause <laughs> moon want nobody do that. <laughs> uh, and he, nah, he, no, he's he's somebody, he, listen to me. He's somebody else's child and men have feelings too. Maybe yeah, that is why sometimes they react the way they react to us women. Mm. We have to be very careful of what we do. Hey boy, yes. to keep you, and still realize that keep not because men are still human beings. Yes, man. That is true. So that is true. We will find other ways. Want to set up a man with an ex girl? No, sir. There must be other ways. We can, we can work it out. And if it never work out well, we come to a decision where him going his pathway and I stay. Which is right. Going a female and me staying a mile in. Which is right. Fair enough. And if I even talk it over with his parents, but you see what is happening to uh, um sometimes. How our men grow up is affecting them. Even socialization, as they were talking about, um, belching in public, like going out on a date and flatulate. We mothers, we need to teach our boys socialization. Mm. Yes. You know, the old time years growing up, um, men were gentlemen. I think our, our boys growing up into men are losing out on that. Mm. True. Yes, and so their socialization is poor, and sometimes even women too. So sometimes we, they, they might not have the patience to teach them certain things because, yes, they are men. But if the person is somebody who you're really interested in and, and, and those are his faults, you have to be careful of how you go, you go around it and correct the person. Real talk. Yes, because sometimes they, they don't know better, you know. So you have to know how to correct them. Why? And when men sometimes are stubborn, they don't want to be corrected. Worst but you have to be very careful, with respect, teaching them certain things. But what I realize, our mothers are not growing our boys that well. Mm. I see it in the classroom as a teacher where, where I have to take the kids that I teach, like I am their parents, teaching them certain things. Mm. So our mothers need to take a stand too. Or be careful how we grow our boys in in becoming fathers, becoming husbands, becoming boyfriends. He will teach them how to date. Real talk. Yes, and their expectations of how, how they should treat a woman. You know, they, those days, like if the person drives, you opening the car door, you pulling the chair for the female. I think though, we are losing out we're, we're on those things. We're from the old school, sister. We're from the old school, I tell yes, you. Yes. I think we are losing out on those things. And men need to realize that um, they need to keep their things in their pants sometimes. Most and they need time. to feel out. They need to feel out a woman first. Yes. No, men need to take standard in their, li in their lives too. And make right. women respect them too. Yes, man. Real yes. talk. And, and men must know that um, they are more than their, their penis. True. All right, mommy. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, darling. We're out of the... We're out of time for the show. We've come to the end of the oh show. Oh, my God. It's only a pity. <laughs> yes, my darling. We've come to the yes, end of the okay. show. Thank you so much for your input tonight. Very, very strong points. Yes, you're, you're welcome. Thanks. Until next week. Thank you so much, Carla. And all our yes, callers I... tonight, we want to thank you so much for being a part of our show. Thanks to all the newcomers, the new first-time callers who called in and shared so, so many Great and interesting ideas and points with us. Uh, we are out of time, as we said. And until next week, on behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, Lady Cleo, saying be good 
love someone, treat someone else good. And remember, the season is coming around where we should be giving back to those in need out there. Dopey story next week, Daddy Road. <laughs> oh boy, Nikki, we see what the Christmas season brings. All right, when it's junk time and all these things, perfect timing. All right, until next week, guys, Daddy Road tells us. Big up my wife, I'm a pity them for life. Be safe out there, all right? Bye-bye. Styles FM.